right, here we are. Ah, oh, shit. Y'all ready for this? Gentlemen, we got Mathis in the house. I see Chemist, Tofu Slayer, Tree Stalker, Wasp Killer, Quawar, Tormod, Gek, Grey Wolf, Maya Cow, Gold Dragon, Ice Kong, Zell. How's everyone doing? Having a good Sunday, I hope. Alright, we got some work to do. Thankfully, um... I did a bit of off-stream grinding. Well, not grinding. Eh, you know what, I'll call it grinding. Grinding through the floors of this labyrinth. So now I'm on floor three instead of floor uh, one. <laughs> Still got a ways to go, but you know what? Should save us a little bit of time. What's up, duty gods? How you doing? Zigfang, Architect of Sin. What's up? Hello, Sage Man. Yo, I'm getting fucking wasted in this hallway. Hey, Kongu Bongu, Peaceful Guardian. Oh, double XP and God, shit, I missed it. <laughs> Damn it. Alright, where am I? So this room, and then we go east and north. Okay. Dude, I've been slacking too. I had a fucking... I had a fucking shit my pants moment on Wednesday night. And... <laughs> that's been... My, my week sort of revolved around that little project. Hey, Quawar, thank you for the resub, good sir. One more to go. Hell yeah, dude. Thanks for sticking around. Low Ethan Elm. Low Mike and Ike. Sub discard. I mean, I'm glad I can fucking read the event and the loading times don't take half a century. <laughs> I call this a pretty big improvement over the JP version of this event. Well, as far as my experience goes. Full of sandwiches, thank you for the resub as well. How are you doing? Low Valhara. Hello, Big Beppis, Mommy Grace. We've got Super Taxi Man, it's solid in the house. Missing anyone? I got Erdrick. What's up? Rawl Sessa, Hannah, Tuna the Void. The stream buffering, that might be on your end, because I am not dropping any frames on mine. I will say, I like the lore, now that I can fucking read it, instead of it being, um... Yeah, I realize that the little messages when you have, whenever you enter a room, they aren't generic. There's one for each room, which is nice, since I can actually read it now. Is the best way to speedrun this event? Um, just grind through it, honestly. You'll want to explore the entire floor anyway, so just start now. Start now, skip the story if you have to, that's really all the best advice I can give. Hey, Jamzel, thanks for the resub, man. Oku kicking my ass. Rip in peace. New card. What do you think? Gek, thank you for the 50 bits. Man, between Shez, Matahari, Pravardi, Kiara, and Adult Kama, I just love this labyrinth and all its tits and turns. Oh, you. Maybe bot, mostly not. Thank you for the resub. Hold on a second. Is my fucking... Oh my god, my fucking iPod somehow turned on in the back. Fuck you. 
damn thing. Hey, maybe I'll say not thank you for the resub. Sorry, I thought I heard something in the background and I finally figured out what it was. Uh, thanks, not a chemist for your gift sub. <laughs> Dude, chemist, chemist, that was a while ago, wasn't it? It was like a full year, something crazy. Gravy train's ending soon, rip in peace. I don't know, there's shit like the, um... When you enter into, like, um... The, the, the rooms of inconvenience, like the one that's just a bunch of folding screens laid up to annoy you, and then you just knock them over. And you're like, yeah, I'm a badass. Then when you run into the room full of nothing but cabinets, and you climb over them, you're like, yeah, I'm a badass! And then you the fucking you get ganked by enemies. We're like, that's bullshit. That's cheating. You can't do that. What's up, Power Mega? Uh, how am I combo rolls? We got her. We got her. NP5. Hey, Fidel. Thanks for the resub, man. When you're rolling FP gotcha and then by mistake roll the actual gotcha and get NP3 comma by complete accident. Nice flex, bro. Congratulations. <laughs> Also, thank you for the resub, uh... And for Igni, I think, is how I'm supposed to say that. Starting two months... Starting two months now, yay. Also, wasn't expecting the whale for comma, but at NP3, here I am. Oh, congratulations. I need to get wasted. Okay. Well, there's a bottle of sake right there, bottoms up. Let me drink, damn it! <laughs> Matahari, what a line. What am I wailing for? Hey, thank you for the Risa. Not Risa, god damn it. Sorry, I spaced out. I was too busy looking at Matahari. Uh, <laughs> Thank you for the 50 bits, Watts Killer. Who would wail for comma? Definitely not me. These aren't commas. If you don't drink, you get a free Matahari lap dance. Mmm. Intriguing. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Sage Matt, thanks for the resub, man. Appreciate it. How you doing? <gasps> Tax to plebs. Your will be done, maybe, but. Yes, good. All right, let's give it a shot. Finally. You know what? I can't believe it. I can't believe 
I can't believe that we're abiding by the words of the great prophet Fergie Ferg. We're getting love drunk off Matahari's humps. I feel great. Nice, now I'm wasted without drinking a drop of alcohol. All right, now I'm useless, but you know what? Actually, I wanna point out this entire map this entire floor of the labyrinth is all just narrow corridors for us to get mugged in. So clearly, that's Kama's game. It's a, this is the shakedown floor. Dude, wait till we get to the floor where every room is room you can't escape until you bang. <laughs> what Kama's actually hiding at the bottom is her fucking Dojin collection. Thanks to the 50 bits, Gek. Realize the comments plan is she made the trick house for Pokemon. This is the house, you're the trick, and this is the floor where she gets her damn money. So thank you for the resub, Doc. Damn, Fino. Spoilers. There's a Dojin room? Hmm. Interesting. Intriguing. Alright, new plan. We find Kama's stash. And where the hell am I? Uh, we gotta go east. East and then north. It's getting stuffy. You fan with your hands to distract yourself. This room is ripe with a stench of Okies. You can't stand it, so you loosen your clothes just a bit. I take off my pants, but put on my robe and wizard hat. Feel good, Corridor? The winding corridor incites your tipsiness. There seems to be a room up ahead. It is a room, right? Ooh, the dusk room. All right, uh, let's see. Some sort of Lancer, huh? Well, in that case. Let's go, let's wombo combo. Hey, Enigmatic Magus, thank you for the resub. Nearly, nearly a year, hell yeah, dude. I'm just sticking around. All right, so this time, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, we're gonna throw some Dojin tags in. Gotta get the Papa Sun combo. All right. The armor stays on, by the way. 
<laughs> That's what makes it exciting. Wait, that's the body pillow? Hmm. Intriguing. What is the new FGO collab? I remember hearing about something. All I know is that it's not Tsukihime, and therefore my interest has waned. Oh, it's Waltz. Oh, that makes sense. You know what? It fits. Alright. We gotta go north. To the Cheery Corridor. For some reason, you're starting to enjoy this. You skip through the corridor. You manage to run through the long corridor really fast. This is the Sanic Corridor. The Wavering Corridor, ooh. All right, wow. Should've brought the video camera. All this moving around is getting you drunk real fast. Master Skip can confirmed. You stagger through the corridor. This would be a bad time to get ambushed, but luckily it looks like there's nobody around. Dude, I gotta say, it's nice to get a constant trickle of materials, including fucking divine wine. Drunken Stagger Corridor. You're starting to lose your footing. You can't help but stagger around. Didn't a certain martial arts style involve walking around like this? Oh yeah, I gotta spam my skills so I can spend the least amount of time building gauge. Yeah, let me just run the usual suspects team. Oh yeah, this time, running, um, comma two. Because we did comma one last time. Don't need the event damage CE? Nope. Um, Kama's damage is fucking colossal, so I think we'll be fine. Like, I want it for the final boss, but I'm fine for now. Especially since I could just do filthy whale shit. Alright, let's get a look at Kama 2's NP. Like going NP for uh, Arjun Altar? I'm thinking about it. There's a strong chance. Eh? 
Oh, okay, so 1 and 2 have a similar... They have mostly the same NP. Also, yeah, uh, I think we're fine damage-wise. Hey, another fancy lighter. Well, it's a pillbox, whatever. If I have it my way, it's a lighter. Gonna be a little less crazy! Oh, the second Shogun. Only two enemies in this entire labyrinth survived my commas NP that weren't the final boss. Yeah, that sounds about right. Did they happen to have break bars? <laughs> oh, they were casters. Okay. I'm a little sad we didn't bring Nobunaga along, or that we couldn't. I would have loved to see the look on fucking, um, the Space Aids McGee's face. If fucking Nobu showed up and started talking shit. Let's see. Cheer-inducing corridor. I don't know, Twitch might disagree with that one. The corridor split into two pads. Might as well take the opportunity to try both? Uh, no. Fuck you. Want a dance corridor? The corridor smells strongly of alcohol. Is BB. She has the corridor problem. said cheer. Hey, you did it. You fool! You validated the corridor. Now it's not false advertising. But thank you for the 50 bits, Keck. <laughs> What's up, Clouded Row? How you doing? Me? I'm doing fine. Got a good night's uh, sleep yesterday after Dinosaur Planet fucking put me in a coma. Also managed to um, cut down the amount of fluff. I think I removed like 200 entries um, from the uh, from the poll game list, so we should see a sharp increase in quality the next time we do one. Yeah, I kept all the uh, the gifted games, but I got rid of well, except for except for the, listen, I just lied to you because I got rid of one gifted game. I got rid of Cuckold Simulator, which Salt gave me. <laughs> Suspect, maybe I can't play that one. I don't know. I got a feeling. Alright, for this one, let's run... You know what? Let's run Raikou and Parvati. A giant snake is dancing merrily. Time for a dance-off? Oh no. Fun in my house? I don't think so, Kiyohime. Also, Melty's Quest, but I, I don't think Melty's Quest was a gift game. I can check. I actually have that written down. Oh. Hold on. Let me spam these. New Melty! Oh, that's a thing. That's cool.
Dude, I'd be down for learning a Melty Blood game. I'm gonna learn Roa, and you'll all be sorry. Or, maybe they'll take the final forbidden step and put a fake character, like a proper fake character in Melty Blood. Oh shit, I haven't said this slow. It's alright, more time to admire Raikou's swimsuit. Actually, you know, you know who the crossover character is going to be for fucking Melty? Well, it's going to be Gordolf. He's going to show us his amazing Gordy punch. Okay, I should try to run tier 3s so I don't have to spend any time farming. Nice! Shopkeeper Kiara, I'm down. Oops. Uh oh, I'm noticing a slight problem with my inventory size. Alright, let's see. So we go to the left. We go to the left and we work our way all the way around the top, by the look of it. Okay. Rapid talking corridor. You're in high spirits and you can't help but to talk rapidly. You fumble through the lyrics of Rap God as your party awkwardly watches. Let's just keep quiet. <laughs> Sub Team Steamy, how you doing? All this trying to keep quiet has you itching to talk. Mumbling can be heard from inside the room. Okay, let's chat away. What is this? There appears to be ass in this room. Let's fix that. Ass in. Ooh, that's a thicken. I saw a corosoka. You get it to the stagnus. Good of you. Let's see if Kiara can do a one shot. We can do a one turn, rather. I kind of doubt it, but we'll see. Hey, Alexio, thank you for the resub. Ooh, congrats on gold, dude. How you been? Gotta love single target AoE NPs and acronyms. <laughs> Fair enough. Thank you, Lunas, with the 50 bits. Oh, I'm still on slow. It's fine. It'll give us more time to marinate. Ooh, alright. I'll actually need to start keeping track of which enemies. Um, when we start encountering spooks. 
Big Spookies. Nah, yeah, it's okay. It's gonna take a while. We're, I still have to build enough speed to clip through, clip through uh, the floors to get to floor five. If you backwards bunny hop into Matahari's cleavage, you can actually gain enough momentum to clip through the floor. Dude, FGO speed tech is amazing. Kamaro's kicking your ass? Oh, that sucks. Let's see. You don't know why, but it's starting to get fun! I can only imagine reading that line of text in Japanese and then getting fucking 15 seconds of loading right after. Even the sight of rolling chopsticks, even the sight of rolling chopsticks can send you into a laughing fit right now. The corridor continue is so fun. The Walmart wine room? Ooh, that must be somewhere around here. Even the slightest thing bothers you and you spew nonsense. Like me watching Wenogatari. Uh, you wanna you wanna wrap yourself up. Get all touchy-feely. Time to equip the Passionlet Mystic Code. Alright, let's see. Eh, this all stick in Parvati. So now me the ghost, how you doing? There's a big snake coiled up, time for a hug. <laughs> The Hukugawa Cardboard Wine Coolers must be somewhere. Hmm. Ah, oh, that's assuming Gordolf hasn't gotten to them. The bastard. Alright, let's go. Imagine playing FGO on speakers and then all the dogs in the neighborhood start barking. Dude, I've been trying not to use my Tokugawa um, Mystic Code. So I've actually been slacking off on uh, feeding the gauge. Because it's kind of hard to do full gauge comma if you don't build up full gauge before you get to her. Nice. Oh, that's my weekly's done. Nice. Your gauge was filled by floor four. Ah. Oh, you know what? There's a, there's a chance. I know there's a lot of fights coming up on one of the uh, subsequent floors. Like, a lot of consecutive fights. So I got a shot. Well, the problem with using the cards to do it is that you gotta collect the cards. Some of those aren't in the secret areas. So I'd rather not. For some reason, you can't help but cry. Hey, what's up, 610? What's the gauge on the side for? Um, that's the, um... That's the you-fucked-up meter, more or less. And if you, uh, use your powers too much and shit, it fills up. And the final fight gets harder. But there's ways around it, so it's not too important. And you're getting sleepy. 
Responsibility meter? Oh, fuck. I gotta reduce that. You know what? Uh, it's time for science then, chemist. We can find out. The room is resplendent like the dawning sun. Let's see. Damn it. No. Getting my getting my tier threes is too important. Alright, for this one, let's see. I actually don't know what the encounter is on this floor. Give me a second. Let me just look it up so I can save myself some trouble. Let's go with this. Oh, and this. Let's see. That's right, the floor hasn't spun all the way around. I hunger. Beware, coward. Run, run, run. Thank you for the 500 bits, bearded Amish guy. Senpai, fall into the debauchery of my BB nuggies. This is my new event. Fuck this Tokugawa labyrinth. It's the it's it's the um It it's the cursed Kuji Clubhouse. That's the new name. Get ready for the announcement. Um, so I'm starting by speedrunning the floors. And depending on how it goes, well, we may have to take some detours. Especially for that final copy of the CE. What's up, Mug? How you doing? Loda, I'm gonna go Kama. We're gonna go Kama, I'm gonna level 100 the Kama CE. I'm sorry, the uh, the event CE, rather. Not the Kama CE. Kama's not actually on it. I think. Did I go for Surtur? No. I'm, I might do it sometime this coming week. Because that banner goes for a while, right? Uh, yeah, 610. Four copies are in the shop, one copy's in the labyrinth. So you don't have to worry about farming drops. Thankfully. <laughs> What a relief. Dude, drop farming! Drop farming for the fifth copy of a CE is one of those things about this game that I'm not super keen on. But thankfully this event doesn't make you do it.
Hmm. It's a lot of spooky ghosts. What's <laughs> up, Lax Cat? I thought you were already in top 10 all time bits, uh, Fidel. Unless I'm mistaken. Oh, yeah, uh, that reminds me, chat. Um, yeah, I have it set to all time bits. Or all time cheers. I'll set it back to monthly um, if we do a stream before the month ends. But, yeah, that's where we are. That's where we're at currently. Just for the record. Yes, 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 yes! I can win! I feel great! I can do this! Choo-choo! Thank you for the 50 bits, Waskiller. <laughs> Dude, forget forget the Naginata. That guy's gonna get the belt from her once this is all over. Feed the meter. Oh, did you did you minturn full gauge? Is fifteen minturn? I forget. I actually haven't done my homework on that. Did you got the third floor? Yeah, it takes some doing. Six turn is minimum. I see. Subun is real noble phantasm is the chunkla exactly. You know. So, Mr. Alep, I'm doing fine. Some guy did five turn by staying in the fight for months and continuously sealing to reset RNG. What? Jesus, fuck. I'm not drunk. I'm not. <laughs> How dare you? I'm sober. Now I gotta plow through to the bottom floors. Let's see. Yeah, 
it looks like for this one we have to... Okay, I have a pretty good idea what the route is. And here we are, next floor. Key to Steel, part one. You're all alone now, Gordolf. Oh, alright, fine. I see how it is. Invisible Gordolf. Where I've evolved invisibility. So the right is the way to go. So we go right and then down, but not all the way down. Wait a minute. <clears throat> all right, I think I got it. Yeah, we go right and then down and then to the left and down. There's a padlock on the door, but it looks like it's not locked. Oh, come on! How did I click the wrong one? Fuck you! God damn it. Whatever. You didn't see that chat. That's so dumb. Great. Oh, well, there goes my uh, min turn, or my min uh, min encounters. Because the three fucking exits were clustered directly on top of each other. And I forgot to use my fucking mystic coat. Well, whatever. I'll get a sample out of it at least. Oh, 
Hey, Epic Eleven, thank you for the resub, good sir. Metal Gordolf Solid is what we call when Gordolf raids the kitchen. Oh. <laughs> Imagine if he was so stealthy that he ate the cake and no one knew it. If he ate the fucking, uh, the Koyan's cake, as it were. Let me do this. Let me zoom in so there's no ambiguity. There, that's the fucking one I was trying to go to. When you master the corridor, maidservants are waiting, carrying keys. Security to the bridge. The master chief has gone rampant. Take him down. I can't boys. believe Gordolf is dead. Let's party! Now I'm the director. My Caldea now. So, Larfic. Oh, you did full gauge. Congratulations. Right, gotta build gauge. I forget what the strategy is for full gauge combo. Because I know she fucks you up. And it's hard to maintain full charge against her, so you pretty much need to um, keep your batteries to get anywhere against her. It's a lot of star? Yeah, it is. Ugh. Okay, so you can... Th I believe you have enough charge to do two full NPs with between Kamaskadi and the Mystic Code. That means you need you need to chain at least one of those turns. Oh my. That's a thick one. Actually, you know what? I believe in Kiara. I've done this event every time it's been out. I did it twice on JP and once, or currently on NA. If memory serves, the first time I ever did the event, I fought zero gauge combat. And it was a it was a hassle and a half. Second time around, I did um, full gauge, although I did uh, cheat. We got really close to um, to a full gauge clear, and then just ran out of steam. So I was like, "Yeah, fuck it." Is it just me, or are there way too many locked doors on this floor? What's going on in here?
No. There is no increase in reward, just difficulty. Doing full gauge is just for um, bragging rights. Thank you for the 50 bits, Super Taxi Man. I wonder how much weight Kiara will have gained thanks to all those enemies she's been storing in that belly. Hmm, Super Taxi Man. <laughs> Asking the dangerous questions. Alright, let's see. Another one of the five precepts, huh? Oh, but because it's the reverse, we gotta steal. break down the doors. No, you know what? We can speed run this. Let's wrong warp. Let's wrong warp to the to the credits of this event. Easy peasy. Yep. Guess we'll just have to steal ourselves for whatever happens. Familiars to steal them. Okay. <gasps> Doesn't mean we'll get to hear that famous story. Hell yeah. Oh, it's Alibaba. Yeah, between all 40 thieves, I'm sure they'll figure something out. Imagine having to tell, this, tell a story every time you do it. Actually, you know the best way possible would be to, to fucking mind control the robots and make them open the doors. Unfortunately, I don't think we have the right uh, characters to do that. <laughs> Imagine if we brought along fucking Enkidu and it's like, Enkidu, you gotta fucking puppeteer these robots and opening doors for us so we don't have to break Kama's weird ass rules.
Ah, we don't need a key. We need a key item. This is the Resident Evil floor. Oh, boy. So for this one, I am going this way. Corridor with the clocks. Eh, screw it, I'll just keep my current team. There was a key inside the wall clock, but when you try opening the door with the key, the door attacks? Oh no, the doors, the doors, the doors, they're back. Real fake doors. Gagiriyanaba, <laughs> Alright. Come on, I gotta raise my gauge. I gotta raise my gauge and my dongers. I cannot be stopped. Corner with the clocks. Will this door attack? It looks okay. Room with clocks. The room is crammed with all kinds of stuff. I wonder how many of these are Mephistopheles bombs. The path is split in two. Now we gotta go south. A gimmicky corridor. Lots of switches on. I read that as sandwiches for a second. After pressing several switches willy nilly, a key drops from somewhere. Oh, <gasps> full of sandwiches, my hero. <laughs> The door is locked. The key you just got looks like it would fit. Your reward are two forbidden doujin pages. Or as we call them in the business, Drake Ludes. A book suddenly jumps out from the bookshelf. It's a nursery rhyme. You've released her from her prison. This was actually solitary confinement. Well, it's only solitary confinement if you treat humans as the things to be confined and not books. Assuming there's more than one book, I guess that wouldn't be very solitary or confining. Oh, 
気がモリモリ湧いてきた,たなんだと顔の子はそんな詳しくはありませぬけれどけれども心なら you know, when are we getting to the CVS room in this goddamn dungeon? Oh my god, Chad, I just had the stupidest, most terrible idea of all time. If we return to Minecraft, God forbid, but if we ever return to Minecraft, I may or may not um, build a replica of, of this fucking event somewhere in the world. I'm gonna recreate Oku. It'll be somewhere in the world. Imagine if we built our own Oni Land. Except instead of it being the Oni Land attractions, it's just various events just crammed in into like uh, little corners as attractions. So really instead of Oni Land, it'd be it'd be Tight Moon Land. Alright, where am I? Um Yes. There's something underneath the scattered books. It looks like a key. Dude, you better watch out. If I don't get enough bits, I'm gonna turn into a mutant and slurp Okita's feet or something. Yeah, it sounds about right. Uh, thank, uh, thank you for 50 bits full of sandwiches. Reject humanity and return to Oku. Falcon room. This is where you get the punch. So let me do this, because I suspect if I do it wrong, it's gonna put me in the wrong corridor. The Dojin corridor! There's a stack of Dojin. So thank you for the 50 bits, Gek. Cursed idea that I don't know all the logistics of. Open oh, no, here I could ugh, get out of here. Listen! Listen, Breaker lost that wager match. I'm safe. You have no power over me. You find something between the pages when you flip through a book claiming to be the latest issue. It appears to be a key. You want to read more, but let's keep going. No! <laughs> Damn it, let me read. Corridor with pictures. Ooh, I wonder what kind of pictures. Colorful pictures are hung on the walls. Could they be posters of some kind? One looks like a lady in a gigantic dress and with a weird smile. Hmm. She looks very familiar, but you can't quite place it. You know, I was trying to wonder, I was wondering why I brought some, or, yeah, I was trying to figure out why I brought Semiramis to this fight, and then I realized it was a bit noise. Thank you for the 50 bits full of sandwiches. You want an even more cursed idea? Himeji Pyramid, uh, Ellie Castle in Minecraft? Ooh, that'd be funny. That could be our own Epcot. <laughs> What would be more true to Epcot than having three unrelated structures smashed into each other in a horrific pagoda of suffering with a giant robot standing behind it? Let's see. The pictures say stealing forbidden. 
Aha, joke's on them. Looking closer, there's a key that looks like a painting set above a picture. Players can have on my server. We had a, a bunch. What, what, I forget what our record was. We've had a, a, a decent amount. You know, not, not like not like actual A-list streamer amount, but, you know, decent amount. Okay, for this boss, what am I fighting? There appears to be some sort of caster that's gonna beat the shit out of me. Oh, I see. It's one of these, huh? Well, in that case... Yeah, let's run this bad boy. It's time! Time to choke, baby! Dude, Mr. Canadian, I found out that one of the standard stage missions requires you to unlock a character in the 5Ds mode. But the problem is, this character isn't actually fucking, like, their unlock requirement is hidden. And it turns out you have to win a hundred fucking duels with Leo. And I'm like, well, fuck you too, I guess. Because you can't actually fight the character that you need to progress until you do their unlock missions with Leo. It's a real motherfucker. There, there have been some pretty bad ones. Thankfully, there are ways of cheesing things like effect damage and um, decking out, or like winning on your opponent's turn, stuff like that. But oh my god, sometimes it can be a real slog. Hell yeah! Look at that damage! Hey, what's up, Breaker? How you doing? Also, you're back into uh, Duel Links, Mr. Canadian. Hey, hit me up uh, with your friend code or something. If you're down a friend duel uh, in Discord. I mean, I'm guessing if you level up characters, um, you'll eventually win enough battles for them to become apparent. But yeah, winning 100 battles with Leo is it was pretty. It's pretty not great. Dude, I'm not I mean I'm 99% sure it's comma in these uh talking to them in these cutscenes. So it's really funny. Cuz I'm just imagining her saying it in the most sarcastic way possible. Be like, "Wow, you're so good with this brush. Good job. Good job." <laughs> All right. What do we got here? Okay, so now we head to the right, and we keep going right, and then straight up. The key is right at the entrance, but the corridor is full of keyholes. Oh, no! One of these is the real keyhole, the other one. But one of these is also Abigail, so you better watch out. You try the key in several places, but it's hard to find the real keyhole.
in the choice, but they try putting it in every keyhole and the door finally opens at the very last one. That sounds about right. Like opening Pax in Yu-Gi-Oh! There's a wooden stick on the floor, but it doesn't seem to be significant. Oh, it's definitely significant. Key's hanging deep inside a hole in the wall, but you can't reach. This looks like a job for Cursed Armasan. Or the stick. All right, you used that wooden stick you saw earlier. Smirt. You get two bullets for being such a smart boy. Order of binding. The door is tightly secured by a rope, but you cut it with some scissors found nearby. Do these scissors count as a key too? Is this the kill a kill room? The corridor is split in two paths. I remember the first time I did this event. I think I did a relatively good job navigating the event. Even without knowing anything about it, I just did it via sheer intuition, and I was mostly right, I think. I can go back and check the VODs on it, but I think my uh, accuracy was relatively good in my previous runs. Okay, so now I need to get 400. 400 of those. There's a mysterious atmosphere in the air. <laughs> the funny part is, uh, you know that previous floor, the one where like they make you take uh, the very circuitous route? Because if you try to take the direct route, it, it fucks you. <laughs> that was one I got purely by accident because I thought when I played that uh, floor. All right, say I have to design a map to navigate. How would I piss the player off the most? And I just went by that logic <laughs> to figure out how to go. And it worked. <laughs> There are rows of Tory gates along the path. Let's try not to walk through the middle. You need to wash your hands to proceed. There's a key inside of the offertory box. You take it and Hakare Reimu ambushes you. She demands a pound of flesh. Or 50 cents. This room has a solemn atmosphere. The Hawk Room. <gasps> yes! Let me... let me Coomer. do if they made an event that was that was oku but it was also summer one where you built the maze and someone else had to navigate it oh that'd be fucked I, i'm uh, i'd do it 
That sounds, that sounds really fun. <laughs> oh! Alright, well fuck you too, ghost! That's fine. You think I need buffs to do this? Oh. Uh-oh. I did need the buffs. Ah, oh, you bastard. Stupid ghost. This motherfucking ghost. Originally, originally, loading would take like 10 to 15 seconds, I think. I could go back and time it because I have the VODs, but it was pretty bad. But thankfully, um, NA benefits from the engine update um, early. So presumably that's why it's a lot less painful for us than it was for JP. Were they angry because they had to build the island twice, or were they angry because the boars suck dick? I think it might be the latter. Anyway, let's head up and then up to the right and then down. Okay. Two timing corridor. My kind of corridor. The corridor is split evenly in two paths. Huh? Oh, please tell me they got rid of the Akio route. <laughs> is, is it Arcoid and CL only this time? That'd be funny. Now listen, Aki has DLC. Don't worry about it. Okay, I see. So these are... Th that's... This is where they start telling us about the secret areas. Hmm. Well, it looks like we'll have to find another way. A hole or, or a slit in here with filling it now would be premature. Kiara, Kiara, your word choice is, uh, it is spectacular. <laughs> and then she goes ahead and spells it out. All right, good job. Dude, watch as we get to like a, like a, a hidden wall and then Kiara just starts fucking fisting it. And then we're like, Kiara, what the fuck are you doing? She's like, I got this. I gotta pleasure the wall. Screw it, I'll just do this. Well, it looked like an iron boulder turns out to be a golem. You know what? I think um, Murasaki can actually just kill him. So I'll spare myself. 
Well, except for this part. This I have to do no matter what. Remake is set in 2010? You know what? I'm not opposed. As much as I like the period appropriate parts of Tsukihime, um, you know, I would like the Tsukihime remake to be something new. If I need my, uh, if I need my dose of, like, the 90s, early 2000s, I'll just go and, uh, watch the old Tsukihime anime. <laughs> the golem drops an iron board. There's a big hole on the ground, but you can proceed by using the iron board as a bridge. Now, what I'm about to say is fucking insane at face value, but work with me here. If you if you just watch the atmospheric parts of Higurashi the anime, not Higurashi the anime, fucking Tsukihime the anime, some of it kind of aesthetic. Uh, the story, the, the fucking story just gives itself a total bullshit, though, at the end. That kind of sucked. That's a lot. A coin you've never seen before sits in the vending machine's coin catcher. No! Oh my god, don't do that. There is an anime about this. You'll become a fursuit. The door looks like it has a slot for coins. Putting the coin you just found opens the door. Glepnir! That was the anime. Don't touch suspicious coins that come out of r random vending machines. It's a huge room! I will say though, getting through this room is actually pretty economical AP-wise. Why do I know this? Listen, I, I used to do anime. Uh, I used to do anime reviews. It it was one of the seasonal shows. It's it's relatively recent, if memory serves. Let's see. What's up, Soul Surge? I have not rolled for Surge. I might do that during the week. Thank you, for the, or thank you for the 50 bits, Gek. Comma with DBCA cell voice. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. It bothers me. It bothers me a lot. <laughs> I 
I don't think I ever got to the cell arc of uh, DBZ Abridged. Press X to doubt. You know what? A fucking Coomer over here has got a point. Nice! Go ahead and take things that aren't yours. Yeah, like other people's wives. You know what? This comma fellow knows what's going on. I can break these cuffs. You can't break those cuffs. Hmm. Everything is up for grabs. Like Shahrazad's honkers. The Kama Sutra has now been upgraded to the Kumar Sutra. Hell yeah, Fidel. Thank you for the 50 bits. Number five, smash mash. Do not tempt me, wench. Thank you for the 50 bits, Mr. Full of Sandwiches. Kiara, you're so annoying. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Why is it Lancelot here? Hmm. Um, he's too busy being a crossbeam or something. Listen, he lives on in all of us. Hmm. 
ことも。できる古きルーム Let's do this. And I'll save the other two for next turn. <laughs> Can't believe Nurse Hero got turned into drywall. No, she's, she's, she's the Dojins. She's all the Dojins. Ah, that's your game. All right. No. Here's what I think about that. <laughs> Suck it deep, comma. You idiot. Now get drawn on. Also, thank you for the 50 bits, Arsfield. And, uh, Ikasu Kaito wants a Cursed Catalyst? Alright, give me a second. Let me grab one. This bow and arrow I choose to save energy and piss off Indra. <laughs> Let's see. All right, uh, Kaito. Here is your. Here's your curse catalyst. There you go. I'm gonna go be born from a big boob lady's womb. Asabi Asabase, good show. Would recommend. A full cup of piss. Dude, I'm gonna need the fucking... I'm gonna need the piss room when I make my oku. Excuse me, Kama. Um, there... You appear to have, uh, respawned. Would you clone yourself? That's a lot of, that's a lot of coomers.
A doll maker ranked grand among mages. You can make puppets that look identical to people. Wait a minute. All right, uh, looking forward to Grandcaster Toko. Anyway, I'll be right back, guys. Uh, let me get some more coffee. Now, I was eating some chocolate. That's why I uh, muted. Give me a minute. Oh, it's the boxed kind. The um, Rocky Mountain Chocolate Factory.
What's up, gentlemen? We got Homo in the house and Absolute Zero Hero. And Bill's here too, Bill of Lefts. How you doing, man? Kiara, don't eat me, please. <laughs> oh no. Hmm. It forbids getting freaky with it. All right, layer five. Imagine if you go into fucking Zen mode and you're like, no, comma, I will not be tempted. You don't have what it takes. And then all the commas just turn into Raikwen. I'm like, Ugh. <laughs> oh no. She's figured out, figured out my weakness. How could anyone have known? You guys are just pissing in the wind. <laughs> no, we're pissing all over you! Now you have to have the best Kongu. Uh, Kongu Bongu. Give me a second, I gotta eat this. Look at this comma gang. Gordy went inside her first and that means you just sloppy seconds. It's pink everywhere. This corridor makes you feel uneasy. Like Maeve could come out of nowhere and make you into roadkill. Clicking noises can be heard from the back of the corridor. The seductive corridor. Yeah, 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 yeah. Actually, wait a minute. My MP starts with fifty percent charge. All right, I'll just do that then. A waiting maid servant rushes over and clings to you. All she demands in return is burger. Curse <sighs> Armasan must give some pretty mean reach arounds. You've been glumped. Shit. <laughs> Oh no, Fidel, this is the actual maze. This floor is themed after an anime convention in the 2000s. How how terrifying. Oh wait, I didn't use my... I didn't use my skills. God damn it. Hey, Kalel, uh, thank you for the resub. Hey, boss, grats on MP5. Thank you very much. How you been?
Listen, Chet, at the end of the day, regardless of which Ascension comma you like, we're all gentlemen here. Some people want a head pad Ascension 1 comma, and other people, like me, want a head pad Ascension 3 comma. But with my dick. Alright, where are we going? That's a dead end, so we gotta go down and around to get to the next part. So we go down, we go around. And then we hit the center, and then we wait. Okay. Who made the dinosaurs? Velba! Yeah. <laughs> so one's the fragrant corridor, the other is the glossy corridor. But if I like gloss over fragrance. Also, thank you for the 50 bits full of sandwiches. So basically, you want to perform the redo of Healer Meat Slap. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> A nice floral scent entices you. She's out of her dress. She's getting the press. <laughs> Mr. Fidel. Oh, it's the Sakura room. Better watch out. This, is, this room is for two things. Um, wholesome dinners and worms are again. Picture of a cherry blossom on the hanging scroll seems to be emitting the scent. Um, I'm pretty sure we fight actual enemies here, so let me do this. <sighs> Time for the concrete donkey! be tempted by bizarre dolls listen i swear no one here no one watching this right now has lo ever looked up a chobits dojin right 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 ah <laughs> uh. Or Rosin Maiden, you know what that counts too. That's a lot of smug commas. She knows. Uh. Yeah, it's been a long time since I had so much fun that didn't involve alcohol or anal. Makes the 50 bits RS feel the virgin body thief comma versus the Chad physically perfect Romulus and Altera. <laughs> Dude, I don't know why Kama thinks anyone would want to fuck when she's giving us the, um... Like, you know that fucking expression Kama has? If someone gave me that expression as they were charging me in the hallway, I wouldn't think they want to fuck. I would think that they're a visitor who destroyed my toilet and they're trying to escape.
No, that's that's the face she makes when she destroys your toilet and then hides the plunger. <laughs> so Akama's is terrible at parties. Listen, Kama would destroy your toilet to own part body. Listen, all I'm saying is that your wife who might be the ultimate YouTube prankster. Disgusting. <laughs> So it looks like on this floor, going down the southern, there are two ways of getting to the exit. Going down the southern floor might actually be, uh, going the southern route might be faster, but we may need to do the northern route no matter what to actually get the last uh, copy of the CE. Because it looks like the both routes on this floor actually get to where you want to go, unless I'm mistaken. Let me look at this real quick. No, wait, that one's a dead end. No, never mind. That's a dead end. If we run up the top, where does that take us? Around the side. Okay, now we can just run up the top, I think. We could snake down past here and then go all the way up north. Unless I'm mistaken, because it looks like both the northern and southern routes go to the correct place here. Because I don't see any dead ends in the southern route. Unless the it's being obscured by this um, information. Here, hold on. Let me take a look. Let me, let me find a different map. It's a fine-looking corridor fit for courtesans. Oh no, it's time again. Time for fuck. Oh yeah, sorry. I'll, let me take care of that Kev bar. Oh, 
Uh, you get, you, you get Scotty. And by Scotty, I mean thorns. And by thorns, I mean the hotness. There you go, there's your curse catalyst. <laughs> thorns is every guard and no guard. Let's see. All right, so I have an alternate map. Okay, yeah, it does look like there are actually multiple ways. It actually, looks like there are three ways of getting to the exit here. Wow, interesting. I think I'm actually gonna take Route B. If I if it works. Ah, oh, Ribbon P610. I barely did mine this morning. I was slacking off super hard this week. This corridor seems to continue. There's a there's a resplendent room at the end of the corridor. It's like a room from an entertainment district. This room looks to be a waiting room for the maid servants, but there's nobody here. A sweet scent wafts from the end of the corridor. Room of mystification. This strangely shaped room is enveloped by a sweet aroma. Ah, J Tropical, you see, that's the next part of the spiel. The sweet the sweet scent turns into a sour scent, and you realize you're not in the Tokugawa Labyrinth anymore. You're back in Imeji Castle and you run as far as you can. Kama's waiting in the center of the room. not be able to hit full gauge by the time I hit comma. We'll see if it even lets me uh, fight her. Yeah, I almost min roomed, except the fucking ga the game screwed me. And it forced me into the wrong node because it clustered three of the, the room exits like on the same area. And now is that the wrong zoom to navigate it? Yeah, I can use the Hanafuda card. Uh, Hanafuda cards too. Oops, I said Fuda. <laughs> Hanafuda cards, rather, to get the uh, correct charge, but that would require exploring. Because not all of them are in hidden areas. Alright, so we're gonna take the top left exit on this one. Sweet Corridor. 
Sweet aroma seems to be coming from the room up ahead. You want to curse Catalyst? Apolypse? You got it. I'll pay for it! There's no time to think about possible consequences. I never felt that manly before as I'd spent my entire paycheck on Kama. There you go. There's your catalyst. Money the wasting. The ultimate male enhancement. Many incense burners are placed in the corner of the room. The stifling scent is making you dizzy. You try to get through quickly, but then Kama appears. I can't believe it. We finally discovered it. Unlimited Coom works. You can use them even with full gauge, I think. Unless I'm mistaken. <laughs> or even with empty gauge. We can you know what we can do some science, but I'm nine I'm relatively sure. We can just use them willy nilly. Right, give me a second, let me have another chocolate real quick. Your body feels strange. Whatever could you mean? You can barely stand. Let's hurry on. You lift up your legs and you think you're flying, but as it turns out, no, you have not evolved flight. Um, it's your third leg doing the standing. Commas up ahead, or so you thought, but then she appears behind you. There are two commas. And only one cup. And you're the cup, master. Watch out. Complete global tokugawification.
Bimbofication? No, 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 you're safe. Listen, we're fighting Kama, not Ankoman. Anyway, so we head to the left. Yeah, straight left, and then straight left again. And that should do it. A beautiful singing voice. Could it be... Kama? There's a pond in the middle of the room. The singing seems to be coming from the room beyond that. It's Liz. A beautiful snake woman is standing at the edge of the pond. But when you look closer, it's Kiyohime! She attacks you. Kiyohime is also the room and the floors. God, imagine if instead of being the Tokugawa Labyrinth, it was the Kiyohime Labyrinth. Oh, fuck me. That's a little beefier than I was expecting. Well, that's fine. We'll make it work. Behold the Scotty crits. Alright, let's see what these Murasaki quick cards get. Oh my god! <laughs> Imagine rolling a fucking 20. I mean, dropping books on someone. Ah. Oh, hey! We got the Kiara code. Nice. Oh, that's mean. Oh, that's fucking mean. This looks like it connects on the map, but it doesn't. Oh, that's fucked. Well, whatever. This room is full of incense. Your heart is racing. Your heart is still throbbing even after you get out of the room. Well, I got the big dick on this one. Blistered Corridor. My favorite gaming website. There are lots of incense burners here too. Smoke is thick here, it's stifling. The smoke demands one thing before allowing you to pass. A number nine large. You're in a daze and you keep going in circles. Next thing you know, you're surrounded by commas. Surrounded by commas? What a terrible problem to have. <laughs> oh no! Three commas! No, don't hurt me. 
我が城の影に溶けるしかない。I forget, do you actually need to hit the top of the gauge or do you just need to get into the final, um, the final part of the bar for it to count as full gauge? You need to hit the full maximum, right? The actual top? Okay. Which one was supply lines? Oh, that one? Fuck that mission, but yes. Oh, the RC plane one? That sucks too, but I did that as well. Dude, the flying missions in San Andreas were so bad, dude. Like, if you need to control something that goes through the sky, it is pretty much already in, like, the worst missions. Okay. Okay, so this is his spiel. An old timey villain surrounded by a harem. Oh, what a what a terrible fate. Mike and Ike, thank you for the resub, good sir. Good lord, it's been 14 months. Guess I'll die then. Rip in peace. <laughs> yeah, thanks for sticking around, dude. Oh, 
Huh. <laughs> the only thing that could match comma sex appeal is a stinky neat. Emphasis on neat and stinky. Although really, really, um, you know, one of those is, is just burned into the spirit origin. Not much we can do about that. Dude, hold on a second. It's okay, there are plenty of worse influences than this in Chaldea. But yeah, imagine if Kamu was like, what the fuck? Why aren't, why aren't you into this? What is your type? And then you pull out a fucking picture of a resh girl from your wallet. But instead of being like waifu a resh, it's, it's fucking spooky ghost a resh. People are into that? Oh no. Now you remind me of a uh, Bustin. Freaky ghost baby. No, freaky man baby, I think was the line in that. <laughs> now who gives a fuck about the bar? I'll max it out, that's the whole point. I can't fight max gauge comma without maxing out the gauge. Nice. He was just banging every comma in every room now. Yes, unlimited coom works. Listen, that's the that's the dojin. You can't escape uh, Oku until you bang Kama in every room, every single room of the labyrinth. So 
let's see. Okay. Also, give me a second. Let me do this real quick. Let me take this outside, because this room's getting hot. I don't want this shit to melt. What's a paladin? I won't be able to insure it this month, but no, you won't. You know, you won't be able to escape mistake forever. Ah, oh, shit! Thank you for the fifty bits, Gray Wolf. Jesus Christ! How horrifying! Enchanting corridor. Honestly, this labyrinth is huge. Just let me check something. Okay. Oh, that makes sense. Okay, so on the map that I looked at, this little, um, you see this part right here? It looked like this was connected on the map that I was using. So I thought I could make, take a shortcut through this room, but I was wrong. Ah. Uh, so I've straight off the, I've straight off the proper path twice now. Thank you for the 50 bits, Grey Wolf. I had to make some sacrifices, but with pure determination and my credit card, NP2 comma was secured. Congratulations, Grey Wolf. <sighs> Maybe it's better to say that your body's adapting. Yeah, Gams, yeah, you're you had a pretty rough on your rolls, huh? You feel like you want to stay here. What a strange sensation. Hmm. You want to stay in the labyrinth where Kama wants to bang you all day. This is highly irrational. All right, we got to the green, the creamy. <laughs> we got to the dreamy hallway. Now we just gotta get to the creamy hallway. How did all the shogun during the Tokugawa period feel about the Oku? Ah, Spishtar's the big get for this year, I see. Or for you, uh, 610, rather. Then again, like, I don't know, there's some stuff where I thought about splitting the difference and saving some of the banners for next year. But then again, Kama was not as ruinous as I expected for me. So maybe I can get away with it, depending on how Arjun Alter turns out. This year's got a lot of fucking NP5s. Alright, here we go. Final level. Innermost part. Here we fucking are. much. No, that's too low. Thank you for the resub, Mr. Norm. How you doing? 
Also, fuck Dinosaur Planet. Holy shit. <laughs> Hang in there, director. We'll save you. Dude, I should make... No, that's too low! Uh, 66 bit. That'd be funny. <laughs> it's been a while since we've added anything to that tier. his soul huh wait wait a minute <laughs> extra nice with three X's Remember those words. <laughs> what a lucky guy, exactly. checks out. Tokugawa Gordolf. My head feels kind of hazy. Uh, 
Drown me in your love. Nice. <laughs> oh, you said the word roll credits. You said fate. Oh, I said it again. Roll credits again. My name is Shiki Tono. All right, well, you got some of that right. Wow, we've become Tokugawa. Shit. Tokugawa-fication. <laughs> All right, uh, Curse Catalyst for Lair. Let's see what you get. Oh, there you go. Here, let's leave Voyager on, on screen for a little bit. Yeah, doing what's forbidden does feel really good. I'm gonna run pre-nerf Dark Strike Fighter and you can't stop me. Gawafino. No way, Jose!
What a weirdo. <laughs> Oh no, I'm evil. No, it's the labyrinth that made me evil, Chet. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't worry about it. No, no, it was absolutely the labyrinth. Oh man, you saved me! From the corrupting influence of the Tokugawa Labyrinth. Thank you. I'll save the other one for next turn. Haha! I got you. I got you right where I want you. No, she survived. No, oh, but she's buff blocked. It's okay. Hell yeah. Dude, fucking Kama's going full Yu-Gi-Oh villain right now. Oh, yo. My God, we're in space. Holy shit, we're in a fucking synth wave cover. Oh. <laughs> 
What? I can't, even with this universe stuff. You're a Mara. You're a you're you're a big old penis. Number five, smash mash. Thank you for the fifty bits of willow sandwiches. What if you wanted to tell Shiva that the chicken nuggies are ready, but Shiva says annihilation? Oh man, now they're well done chicken nuggies, and the universe. Oh, it's got a little universe. Oh, so heavy. No, it's okay. I've seen this in Gainax shit before. We could definitely win. This motherfucker. The scales tipped. Ah, uh, yeah, here it is.
Hold on a second. Let me... Oh, damn it, I can't actually hide the screen. I was gonna try and make a fucking synthwave cover out of this, but I'll have to settle for what we got. Ah, here we go. No smashing. Oh my no smashing. god, you're but a I like crab. Smashing. You're no crabbing smashing. on fire. So thank you for the 50 bits, Grey Wolf. Uh, yes, Sichuan Kara, devout noun? Who the fuck needs medals? And a hero of Chaldea. She's Bowsette. No, Erdrick! All right. You know what? I think it's time for us to cash in. Oh, I should. I'll do it next fight. How many beasts are left? Well, let's see. We beat Tiamat, Gatia, um... Kiara and Kama are the same beast. And then there's foe. So that's like uh, four. We defeated four so far. We know what one of them is. Well, actually, no, we don't. Never mind. I didn't say that. I didn't say it. Don't worry about it. As is written, two titans must now fight. Laps versus Rapture. Left versus right. L versus R. That was a spoiler, wasn't it? Gonzalo Gun, how could you? Bad man.
Man, I need to start getting moderators who actually plow through the story so we know when people do shit like this. <laughs> Grey Wolf. Tempting, tempting. すべての人に無限の堕落をすべての人に永遠の満足をそして宇宙は私の愛で満たされる決めたよ。Yokama, your hair looks like Kiara. How do you explain this? Holy shit. Oh, is that the charge? Ah, uh, wait. No charge yet. Okay, that's fine. I'll just use it now. That's fine. I'll deal with it. We'll go with a brave chain this turn. Who the fuck is Evil of Humanity Overflows. I think that's a typo. It's Evil of Humanity Overflow. That's why it ends with a nice boat. Oh, yeah. Ah, just a little short damage wise. <laughs> Damn it! Just get the job done, comma. Holy shit. Why not NP? I wanted to NP on the subsequent turns, but now I'm committed. Oh, it's just the one bar? Oh, I thought it was multiple. I thought I had to get deeper. Well, whatever. <laughs> Thanks for the 50 bits, Gek. Taking her time because she likes to play with herself? Ew. Nasty. Why would you play with yourself when you could play with Gordolf? I'm sorry, everyone. I don't want to give myself up, but that Kamakuchi is too strong. Why is the BGM sound weird? It's probably, uh, you probably need to refresh the stream. You're not a Tokugawa, idiot! Hmm. 
that sounds really good. No, there's a separate challenge quest. You do it after finishing the main story. Oh, no! <laughs> Gordilf has all the power. Simon Dilfsu. <laughs> nice face. He's going over that cliff. Go, oh, Costa, gonna do it again. Thank you for the fifty bits, Erdrick. Nice. <laughs> oh man, fucking Gordolf. Just told us his life story in an instant. I must have some serious repressed trauma. <laughs> uh, do we have a psychologist? We do, technically. <laughs> Hypothetically, we do. I don't know if I don't know if you want to be in a room alone with them. Well, I would not for therapy, though. Let's see. Number five, Smash Mash. 
I must say, comma, that face makes you especially crab-like right now. Thank you for the 50 bits, Star Soul. Yeah, Kama has some amazing and terrifying faces. I just wanted to finish the event first before I came to stream. Looks like it's going well so far. Best healer of the mind is Nightingale. Just look at that hand grenade she applies directly to your forehead. No, why'd you remind me of those fucking commercials? God damn it. Oh, that's torture. I wonder if there's like a 10 hour head on collection. Hold on, let's see. Let's see if there is. Head on commercial. 10 hours. Oh no, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'll have to keep that in mind. I'll have to keep that in my pocket. Head on! Apply directly to the forehead! Head on! Apply directly to the forehead! Dude, th those were TV commercials. They made it on television and they had the quality of like a fucking internet banner ad. It was terrifying. And it was terrifyingly effective. That shit would stick in your head. I missed a good line, what I miss? Take this, my sadness, my lament, and all of my sorrow? Yo, Gordolf, man of culture. God. Oh no, he's already back to he's already back to Toku Gilf. Wait, no, no, that's the wrong combination of words. Tokudolf, there we go. You know what I would love to see? I would love to see um, a servant. A servant that's literally just a fused version of Kiara and Kama. In before that's a plot point down the road on JP, but still. Kiyama.
Oh shit! Yeah, come with us, idiot. Oh, okay. Here. What the fuck is wrong with me? Kiara has gained a few waifu levels? Hell yeah. Mr. Clips Lunas. That was so gross. <laughs> Eight. Oh, good. So I still have more time to fill up the gauge. I forgot how many more encounters there were at this point. I thought the main quest encounter list was looking weird. I forgot we get fucking kicked out. All right, back at square one. Time's actually kind of short. I'm gonna try to get at least one clear. Even if it's not a short turn clear of comma, I'm gonna try to clear a comma today. We're gonna get a comma clear. And the rest, we, could, we got time. We got another week for uh, meme attempts, if we, even if we can't do a min turn. Yeah, I don't plan to do a double length. There's still some stuff I want to get done. I don't want to push myself too hard with long streams this week. Still bouncing back from that disaster on Thursday. Well, Wednesday night, really, but it, it bled over into Thursday. Hey, Charge Boy, thanks for the resub, dude. 
Shiny butt bottom. A weakness intrinsically linked to one of her other properties. Yeah, she might have a lot of properties, but we uh, still have numbers on our side. Or do we? participate? No, I would need to finish Lost Belt 3, and I'm not really interested in doing that. Not on my own initiative, anyway. Okay. There's one pillbox that we didn't find. Yoshinobu, the last Tokugasha. Okay. It went through some tough times, but things turned out okay. You know what? That's a that's a hell of a way to summarize uh, the twentieth century. If nothing else, I can say that modern day Japan is the picture of peace. There you go. Let's let's put it that way instead. <laughs>
Oh, so if we get the final pillbox, we can use that to cripple Kama. I see. Okay. I feel safer already. We got our dump. Got our info dump. Now it's time. Oh, these motherfuckers! <laughs> oh, they got me. All right. Looks like an actual uh, min encounters run is. Kind of pointless, huh? That's fine. I can make this work. Give me a second. Dude, I skipped as many of them as I possibly could, and wow, am I getting fucked for it. Here, let's start on floor five. That should make things a little easier. Alright, so we can get one by heading left and then up. Alright, let's hop to it. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's this floor. So we can give it a look. So shiny. Looks like some sort of mucus. The gooey corridor? Ugh. <laughs> God damn it. You know what? This fucking room could use a neti pot. I hope it's mucus and not some other sticky substance. A rustling sound? A rustling sound that's generating a sticky fluid. Hmm. Intriguing, but highly disturbing. Snake woman has made a nest inside the room. I gotta go. I gotta go. I don't want to be anywhere near Kiyohime's love nest. Ew, Kyo juices. Disgusting. <laughs> Shoot 
Nice. Um, I I did not use them at all until this morning. So up until like um second, third floor, I think. Alright, there we go. We should have a second card now. Good. Okay, so to get the others, there's a couple of things we can do. Hold on a second. I... Th yeah, okay, this is the way. This room up here is another one. Luxury goods, hell yeah! It's a waiting room for the maid servants, but it's empty. Something seems to be peeking through the hole. Locking eyes room. You know what? No, no, no. Actually, you know what? Yeah, let's do the other thing. Alright, I hope you're ready. <laughs> It's time. No peeking. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no, it is her. That's her! Hell no! Yeah, it's like Kiara. You can fight it as many times as you want. Alright. Okay, another Hanafuda card. What are we at, three? So we just need two more. Oh, that's interesting. They don't let you go backwards from the final room. So you have to actually run up the top. Ah, uh, okay. Interesting, interesting. Oh, we're at three? Yeah, okay. I know where the final two are. We can get them up here as we swing our way towards the, um... Oh, no, we can get one of them up here as we go towards the CE. You seem to be... You seem to see a dazzling light that's like a shining star.
An intense smell is coming from the room up ahead. Uh oh. Maybe it's the sand. You somehow feel restless. It smells like a fire hazard. Tama appears from within the incense smoke. Listen, even if you're a god, I must imagine it's extremely annoying to just sit in ridiculously thick incense for hours at a time. Okay, there's another very convenient one that we can get on floor four by the look of it. So we'll hit that one up instead of going down the southern route on route five. Oh, I'm sorry, on floor five. Incense is a sweet smell, Peaceful Guardian, but if you had to sit in a room filled with, like, car air fresheners for several hours, I'd imagine that would get pretty annoying. The writhing corridor. Oh, it's full of torture devices? But why though? They look really painful. It's the Carmilla room. Shrinking back corridor? Wait, shrinking back corridor? Bro, why my back hurts so much? A slow moving creaking sound can be heard from inside the room. It must be Zila streamer Dino Tyson and his shitty chair. The room is decorated with a giant saw. a plan for Kama to ambush you with 100 car air fresheners? <laughs> oh, the, no. What is it? With 100 car air freshener trees hanging from her arms? God, that'd be terrifying. That's his own noble phantasm. Now I'm just imagining Gilgamesh just pelting you with cheap gas station, um, cheap gas station, like, <laughs> cheap gas station goodies. Hot dogs, nachos, air fresheners. Overpriced bottled water. Gas, that too. Yeah, that's where the EV charger is and he laughs at you.
Because <laughs> they're all plugged into his fucking jet plane. That's why. <laughs> his fucking Sumerian jet. I think that may have been hands down the stupidest thing in Fate Zero. Like, not the worst thing, just the stupidest thing. Alright, we're at four out of five Hanafuda cards. We just need one more. But let's run through here and get the CE while we're here. Explicit corridor? There's a hanging scroll depicting a graphic scene. Oh shit. I think you mean the good corridor. There are hanging scrolls left and right. Hell yeah. If only we had Hokusai along. You pass by averting your eyes. Just kidding, I'm looking right at them. I'm burning them into my brain. Lie together corridor. Bedding is stacked in this corridor. Oh shit. This is where all the sheets go after they're um after they're dry cleaned. So Hutan laid out in the room, he decided to walk around it. Whispering can be heard from inside the room. Oh, it's the rendezvous room. You enter the room as if enthralled. There doesn't seem to be anyone here now, but there's evidence that someone may have just left. Oh my. Uh, let's see. Man, some of the stuff in this art is obscene. I can't tell where some of those tentacles are going. Why is this sign Hokusai? Thank you for the 50 bits, guy. Comma way too eagerly? Aw, oh, shit. Wait a minute. Grime liquor? Kama, what have you been doing with these ghouls? Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, that's nasty. I, listen, Kama's way braver than I am. I wouldn't trust a uh, ghoul like my taint. This is the Oki room? No, Lunas. But thank you for the 50 bits. Disgusting. Grime has been licked in this room. Okay, yeah, this is the way that's supposed to go down. Fruitful corridor? It's full of bonsai. There's even a fruit glow uh, growing on the bonsai. Mm. 
The fruit is puffy and juicy and a bit sexy. Listen, there's only one fruit that can get this reaction out of me. That's the Norio Wakamoto peach from Milky Holmes. Night blooming... What the fuck? How do I even pronounce that? A lantern that shines like the moon is placed in the center of the room. Ah, here it is! The craft essence that we've all been waiting... Foreigner? The shadow cast by the lantern starts to move. Oh shit! Look at him go! Alright. All of them. Listen, this ride has one emergency exit, and you gotta get into Kiara's skirt to reach it. Man, we're really close to a full gauge. In you go. Nice. Other problem is I don't think I have enough tier 3 currency to buy the both copies of the CE. So I may have to hit that note up a few times. Thankfully we can unlock it. Uh I mean we this is the note right here. Actually no it's not. Never mind. This isn't the note. The best note is somewhere else. Is somewhere on floor uh floor 4. Actually, where is it on floor four? Ah, uh, okay, yeah, we could hit that up. We just have to run straight up north from the start. That's quite doable. But yeah, well, let's go to floor four now. Oh, wait a minute, we, no, we have enough, we're good. All right, well, that's some trouble saved. Right, we need one more Hanafuda card, so to get that, we can actually just um, run up here. Into the slurry corridor? That's disgusting! Hold on a second, let me check something real quick. Is that waiver CE maxed? It is, okay. Well, let's do this to start. Okay, second of all, I gotta hit up my Muramasa stockpile and clear that out a little bit. I'm sorry, not Muramasa, Shiro. Gotta keep accumulating Shiro's, it's quintessentially important. Alright. The 
corridor is full of mud. The better nodes have three enemies. The earlier ones aren't great. But the secret room nodes, I believe, all have um, triple waves. I think they do. Or at least the good ones do. This place is disgusting! The door's also muddy, but it's not locked. There's shit everywhere! What do you call a horrible male cow stuck in mud? Terrible! Is that a pun? Senpai, I think that I think they made it funny. Wait a minute. Terrible pun. While you contemplate on punishing the bad joke, a golem suddenly jumps out from the mud and attacks. Wait a minute! Oh my god! Kama got to Grey Wolf! He's the shogun! I can't believe it. It's too late for me, I'm already a Tokugawa. No, Grey Wolf. I can't believe they've done this. I am defeating Kama 100% tonight. There's no way I'm not. We're getting A clear. And it's gonna be a full gauge card. Can't promise you it'll be a uh It'll be a min turn. We'll we'll try that next week. Oh, what's up, Kog? How you doing? You know, I'm something of a Tokugawa myself. <laughs> Gold concealing corridor. What well, looked like a stack of money is all counterfeit. Man. We've been played. The creepy hand sticking out from the floor is holding a wad of cash. Or, er, Hanafuda card. Wait a minute, we're gonna find hands for this? Fake doors, now the hands with counterfeit cash. Yeah, I gotta say, after some of the enemies we fought, these are definitely pushovers. Hey, 
Okay. Alright, just give us the last card we need. Nice. I may have forgotten to spam skills on that one. Oh, Curse Catalyst, you got a guy made of bees. It's yours, my friend. I don't want to live on this planet anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right, be right back, guys. Let me get a drink or something. All right, I'm back. Strange colored wall. Ah, for this one, I know what I gotta bring. Arise, comma. Hey, what's up, Clay? How you doing, man? Dude, I've been plowing ridiculously hard today to get through this dungeon. Now, honestly, we made good time, uh, aside from a few <laughs> accidental detours. Let's see, thank you for the resub, Mystic Knight. Yo, Fino, time to recharge the anti tax shield. One more to two years. Hell yeah, dude. Thanks for sticking around. Denny, bad news is, um, I, I may have pushed the button before I left to get a drink, so you'll have to wait. <laughs> Let's see. That doesn't mean there's anything wrong with your technique. Oh, it's a special seal. Wait a minute. He's accustomed to it. <laughs> yeah, I got myself a fucking apple juice because apparently I'm an infant. Ah, 
Pretty good, though. I right, don't want the story? Nope. We're preparing to fight, um, Final Comma. Conceptual hole. Okay, so we stick five in that open. Okay, I see. I see what's going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm really glad we took Kiara's advice and totally didn't try to avoid them. Gave a real glow up to Yagyu, Matahari, and Sherazad. I'd say so, yeah. Especially to Matahari. Matahari has not had that much to do. Even in, like... I don't know. Even in Salem, I don't really remember what she did. I mean, she did have that arc that sort of uh, went back... Um, to her past, like, to her backstory. But, you know, overall, I didn't really get much out of her part in that uh, story. What the fuck? There's a ghost in that rock. Time to coom, baby. Change the third? Alright. <laughs> but, you know what? I'll do it after this before I forget. Alright. Time for Ghosty to go boom. Yes, give me. I can't hear anything from this one. You know what that means. Unforeseen sign effects.
Yep, using the pill box, bimbo fies, I mean toku fies us. Anti Tokugawa coding. Hey, okay. good enough for me. Will this let us win? Uh, may take us a few dozen resets, but yeah. Fifty percent chance of winning. You know what? That's pretty good for us. <laughs> hey, better than our odds at Neurofest. I'm sorry, Gilfest. <clears throat> Said it. Hey, Bill. Thanks for the resub, dude. How's the Okuma? Well, we're getting there. We're getting to the end. Gonna go for a full meter clear. We'll see what we can do. in this hell. Alright. <clears throat> ah, before we do that, actually, a couple of orders of business. First of all, let's go full comma. Second of all, let's go full Coomer. Who's getting this grill? You'll see. Alright, we'll do, Chemist. Let's see what the fight calls for. There it is. Max limit break, but we're not done yet. You know what? Uh, sounds good to me. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. Wait a minute. Okay, I have an idea. First of all, let me do this. Let me get rid of some of these um, Valentine's E's. down here. God damn it, I wish they wouldn't mix the bond and uh, non-bond. Alright, let me clear a little room by using these Valentine CEs first. Okay, yes, this is Benny Enmas. This is... Bradamante. Uh... Consort you. The Emperor. Lan Ling. Double X. Oh no! It's all coming back to me. Alright. Jarcher. Sorry, I just need to make sure these are the right ones. Scotty. Uh, Volk. Napoleon. This is Okiten. Achilles. This is Ivan. Ah, it's a Resh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Cersei. The Abigails. We got the Beebster. Oh, I'm not. I'm just uh, exercising my paranoia so I don't remove anything that's non-Valentine's. And Jal uh, Jalter. There we go. All right. Yep, I mean, the whole point is to get this level 100. So I'll do what I need to. So give me a second. Mute sight. Let's see. Actually, I had a different plan in mind for what I was doing. To level up this craft essence. If I could just find it. Ah, here they are! <laughs> ah, yes, here they are! Does it have use? Well, how many of them do I need? I don't need more than like three, right? Because I have the one that I have marked. So that's two, three, four, five. Okay, well, in that case, I'll keep those. I'll keep these locked up. And the rest, they're free game. All these Sakura CEs that I've been saving up this whole time. Yes. Yeah, and the fifth one is up there. So we're good. 
Behold! Complete global suckerification. <laughs> and a worm. Delicious. And now for the rest of the worms. Ah, yes. Worms and chocolate, my favorite combo. And Orion. Hey, Jax, thanks for the resub, dude. Alright. Got Lalter's chocolate. This is Santa Alters. This is Gawain's. Walter. Yeah. Oh, we got Rufy. Keo Lancer and Mordred. Oh, that's right, the Pocky game. I remember that. Alright, now for the main event. I've been saving up some shit just for this occasion. I think using both will be excessive, but here's what I can do. That'll get me to 73. How much more do I need after 73? 85, holy shit. Two Meat Wars has gotten me to 85. Let me see if I have any other crap that's in stored, or stored XP. Um, I have a level 100, um, CBT, I mean, CKT that I can just use, but I'd rather just sit on it and use it as is. You know what? I'll just put in the remaining, um, Valentine CEs and we'll go for it with what we got. Alright, let's go. 86. It's pretty good. And with the power of two Meat Wars. And the rest, I'll figure it out with um, Valentine's... I'll burn Valentine's CEs and stuff to get the right amount. Or I'll expend them, rather. Alright. Now, let's have ourselves a party. To make this work, I'm going to need some skadoodles. Okay, let's try this. Let's see. Okay. Uh, it's her, Coomer. <laughs> nah, we're good, comma. <laughs> Listen, Waver's waiting for me back at Caldea. Although, you gotta tell me if he became the couch. That'd be way too funny to pass up on.
All right, let's go. Special Mystic Code activate. No Nut November. This is my absolute abstinence zone. No, not yet. We'll need to do it before we do the actual final battle. As you can see, there's a little chode left. We'll watch an anime adaptation of this? Yeah, I would. If they made it an actual dungeon crawler, I'd be down for that too. Alright, let's go. So I'm actually going to start spamming them next round. I don't believe it does in this incarnation. Unless the, the notes here are incorrect. In the 100% gauge, I believe it does. Last forever. Or not, not, not forever, five, uh, four turns. Alright, let's go. ボンヌ無料さん。さあ、情欲の矢を放ちましょう。喜んでくれますか it does go all the way through. That's annoying. All right. Never mind, it sticks. You're right. <laughs> Whatever, I'll just beat her up for the final wave. I think my click cards will come up. Very cool NP, by the way. I wonder how the four turns work. You need to get lucky with resets, don't you? Or you need to get lucky with Brave Chains, probably. Oh, yeah! Look at that! <laughs> so you pretty much just need to sit and eat shit for um, the first couple of turns to make it happen. Okay.
Unless we do something crazy to guarantee resets. Or not to guarantee resets, to fish for resets, like running, um... Like running Amadeus with Poster Girl. to find it. Oh, what an asshole. You know what? I understand, though. Any place that would let that would let you drag me into depravity, but that's that's every place. You could have done it right on stream, comma. <laughs> well, actually, probably not. Don't get me banned. It's her. Oh, okay. Wait a minute, it wasn't Kama. Oh, it was her that was... Okay. Th that was the voice. Alright, okay, that makes sense.
Oh my god, it's... It's love hyperinflation. <laughs> I can't believe that's their scheme. I love coin right now. <laughs> I can't believe it. The place further than the universe. It isn't Antarctica. If Kama is the universe. If Kama is the universe, then the place furthest from the universe is Kiara's hole. I can't believe it. Also, thank you for the 50 bits, Wasp. When everyone loves everyone, no one loves anyone. My name is... My name is... Slim Shady. Okay. My god, I'm too far gone. Uh, okay, so she left it for us intentionally, so we'd abuse it. And get tokufied. face. I can't believe this was the true phenomorphosis. Me becoming a Tokugawa. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right, we're actually in space now. Emerald. 
Perfect sell after blowing up. <laughs> Thank you for the 50 bits, Wasp. My god. Oh my god! Look at that image! My head hurts. Ugh. I laugh in the face of danger. <laughs> Thank you for the 50 bits, Mystic Knight. So, do we just throw more Amasa at them and call it a day? Hmm. We might need a few more Emias for that one. We need unlimited Emia works. Holy shit, we're gonna be set adrift in the void of space with no light and the minimum amount of oxygen required. Yo, that's fucked. Oh no, we are becoming cars, god damn it. <laughs> Where's the fat comma? Listen, you request one. She'll come. Okay, so slight problem. My gauge isn't full, which means that to actually fill it, I'm gonna need to do something real quick. Here, we can use this to fill it up. It's a lively room. I just want to touch tips with you, dude. One sec, Kama, I gotta explore. <laughs> just fucking teleport out of Kama space. <laughs> to give her more meter. Oh, what's this? A bashful corridor. Cute giggling laughter, that can't be good. Shouldn't Doji's gonna show up. You know what, I'm just gonna throw a Raikou at this one and call it a day. The ghost of a little girl is playing in the corner of the narrow corridor. Oh my god, is... Nursery Rhyme better not show up with a sword. Oh, never mind. It's the K&K &K ghosts and uh, Musashi. Holy shit, that's a thick Musashi. She must have found the Udon room. I don't know if that's 100% gauge yet. 
Oh, my frames! My frames died for a little bit. Ah, oh, no. Come back. Okay, we're good. I turn to put down my thermos and I fucking see OBS turn red. It'll become full, full in the main quest. All right, we'll give it a look then. Well, I have returned to the metaphorical womb, except it's space. You know, in, in a dark time like this, I think of the words of the great Shah Osnabel. Um, I came here to laugh at you. No, wait, hold on. That's the wrong one. Damn it. I must use the comma to destroy the comma. Exactly. No, wait, I'm like the reverse of cars. And then Dino started thinking. Oh. Flying carpet. I feel a little better now. I just want to touch tips with you, dude. Shahrazad's magic carpet, right? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, Lunas. In my mind, this has always been the Oku. Now I'm all alone. It's okay. I deserve to be punished. I deserve to die for what I've done. I'm a malefactor who brought a beast of love here through my obsession. Oh, never mind. This is um, this is her dialogue.
simple, I've had to resort to working in a factory to make ends meet. The good news, though, is that I'm an archer now. I have a rivet gun. I can use it to build ships and to attach inappropriate phallic objects to Mecha Ellie. Both are critical to the war effort. <laughs> Dude, you know what this is right now? You know which game we're playing? Halo Combat Evolved. <laughs> At least someone's having a good time. Excuse me, can you fix my horrible space aids first before you love me? New card. What do you think? Thank you for the 50 bits, Wasp. I could use it as a ranged weapon, but I don't know how to aim. Oh! Space has a wooden floor now. Nice. fucking self-suggestion. They're gonna fuck with definitions to make Subone strong enough to control at least some of this place. Oh, that's, that's, that's as fate a plan as I've ever seen. Because if Subone's name in the story is synonymous with absolute control over the Oku, then she could use that to weaken Kama's control over it. Through the power of self-deception and being a fucking disembodied body. Well, soul, rather. Dude, you better watch out. If I don't get enough bits, I'm gonna turn into a mutant and slurp. Power of Nasu equals something. bends the rules. Yeah, yeah, pretty much, Mystic Knight. Hmm. 
Hmm, we'll have to get very close. You know what? All right, back to cars mode. And then Dino stopped thinking, but only for a little bit. Acoustics of space are ruined now with hardwood floors. Now she can't make her podcast anymore. She'll have to get a carpet. Okay, so she's going back and undermining the, uh, the, the fucking, the Shogun Essence that Kama used to build the Labyrinth by changing what she said in those moments. Okay.
Having more children means you gotta take responsibility. Here's what you do, Shogun. Don't take responsibility. Oh damn it! All right. It's like I, I don't become I don't become uh, a fucking Gundam Gouda. Technology, gotta love it. Ah, shit.
Oh, he's responsible for the cards. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. He looks. He looks so. He looks like a really bald aggravate. <laughs> he looks like a really bald aggravate right now. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there we go. So he's responsible for the cards. He's been cutting them out of his own body. Thanks for the 50-bit Super Taxi, man. I don't think that's what they meant when they said to believe in the heart of the cards. Oh, you. And hey, Cad with a rate of 54. Thank you very much, Cad. How's your stream, dude? As you can see, we're about to fight uh, the title match of the night against Full Power Kama. It's out progress in Neo. Oh, good stuff. We have it. It's a full gauge. All right, let's go. It's time. Maximum power. Okay, so what we need to do is we need to have a couple of characters eat shit. So we pretty much dick around for a few turns, right? Yeah, okay. Here's what we'll do. Yeah, okay, so we're pretty much just stuck uh, stalling out the first couple of turns to make this work. <sighs> Let's see, so turn four is the earliest we can actually make a push with NPs. In the meantime, we just need to go ape shit with damage and just beat the shit out of Kama with uh, our other stuff. I can actually run Amadeus, I think. I don't know what point I could slot him in. Because he definitely can't eat three consecutive turns of comma hits.
I mean, this video says you could run Merlin on turn three to eat the hit. The question is, do I even bother running Scotty in my front line to start? In that case, what I can do is I can run Fragment. Let's see. Okay. Well, in that case, I'll just keep stacking um, charge givers. So we have a waiver here. So, okay, Merlin will die. Uh, Merlin will eat shit with the first comma NP, that, but that's okay. We can work with that. And then the second Scotty will come in around the time. Um... Yeah, around the time where I can keep her charge, I think, if this works the way I think. And then we'll just have more charge donators to keep the fight going in case they die. I could also toss in Mash, just to make my cost work out. Alright, well, we'll give it a go with what we got. Whatever. No, don't worry about mash. My mash it just looks like um Ordnex. I have her set as Ordnex, even though she's um I have her set to look like Ordnex, but it's Galahad Mash. My body's so warm. Oh, shit. Okay, so his soul. So now, now in, as a soul, he can, um, he can fuck with the world. Okay. Ah. An imitation blade of Muramasa. <laughs> the biggest of moods. What the hell is happening here?
<laughs> it's utter nonsense, dude. It looks like Kama's about to read her first type moon work. Cause effect reversal? What the fuck? All right, just fair warning, um, if you were looking forward to that one scene, I'm probably not going to show it. I'll probably end the stream right after I uh, beat Kama. Because I expect the epilogue to go for a while. So fair warning. This has already gone way longer than I had intended. We can give it another, we can give that part of the epilogue another watch next week. But, um, yeah. For today, I think we're we're already past time. Yeah, we're an hour past time, hour and a half. Not even including the fight itself, which there's no guarantee this run is gonna do it. Evil of humanity overflows. Look at all these commas. I can't believe it. They already have more frames of animation than Ushi does. Also, um, I hate to say it, but I can't, like, as cool as this setting is, I can't take it completely seriously, because every time I see the commas in the background, I just think of that one part of Imaginary Scramble, where they're, they're the spam ads for Mysterious Heroine X just flying by in the background. Whoa, 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 easy, easy, friend, easy. You'll kill him! You'll kill Merlin! I can't let you kill Merlin. No. 
Alright. Yeah, Merlin is gonna die real soon, so let's get this poppin'. His charge is gonna go to waste, but his 20% charge isn't... isn't decisive anyway. So let's just do this. You don't think it's full gauge? Okay, well, hold on. Whatever, we'll run this as a test run. Just to see if... Okay, so Merlin dies on turn 3. The problem... Okay, no. So that stays. We're good on that. Okay, yeah, so this is the part where we can... We can just have comma, dumpster, comma. So turn four is the first part. But the thing is, like, so how much damage does comma do with Jester Brave Chain with the nerfs? Mm. Okay, so that's off. Yeah. So I need to actually commit some form of damage to Kama before by turn four. Okay, in that case, let me raise the gauge a little more. Alright, comma, hold on. Cut, cut. Let's redo this. Another take. Hold on, I'll be back, comma. Wait for me. Gorgeous and draws you in. You start to feel like you want to stay in this room. No, you got to keep going. This, I'll just do this. I'm staggering towards her. I want a piece. I wish it was a little clearer about when you actually hit Max Gage. It spins, okay.
All right, still not spinning. We gotta do another. It's a small doll. No, don't pick it up. It'll pull out a gun. What the heck? There's an extra chapter here? Oh, he has a dead end chapter. I see. Tell you what, I'll read this later. I don't have time. Okay, so it's not actually spinning. So do we have enough? How do I fucking tell? Whatever, I'll do one more. Just for good measure. Just one? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna let this play out. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Yo, Denny, uh, Denny Doji, are you by chance in chat right now? Here, let me... Got a Red Bull, so I can fuel up. <sighs> yeah? It says your name is Solid N7. You don't look like Denny to me. Cheeky boy. All right, let's try this again.
サンサーラカーマンソは輪廻を止める愛の世界にして介護投げ打つ堕落のいざない我が身という宇宙で欲愛は応一し煩悩は執着すラーガマーナクレーシャアースラバすべてを菩提寺のもとへと届けましょう Alright アバロータ無名を照らす愛の光 Is there a way to skip boss dialogue? Nope. You're committed. Oh, did I miss like a 90% crit? Fuck off. Yeah, I'm gonna need you not to die on this one, Merlin. You know what? He's not gonna last long enough to give his buffs. So let's just do this now. You're taking a liking to Merlin for some reason? Uh, that's because he has good to go to poster girl. Wait, what? Did he purge my... Did she purge my boss? What happened? Oh, I got buff blocked? For fuck's sake. Ah... Okay, so I cannot attack with Merlin at all during those turns. One hit, two turns of buff block. Okay. So Merlin cannot attack on turn one. That'll ruin him. Ah, if we invul turn one, you know what? A fair point. You know what, I'll take her in unskippable dialogue over Kiara's unskippable three turns when you're doing a zero KP. Three turns where she just fucking memes on you. And nothing of importance happens. Oh, that's a really good hand. The problem is, brave chaining is a really bad idea. I'm kind of tempted to do it anyway. <laughs> Kind 
Kama at least can remove her own debuffs, I believe. Why quick last? Um, highest chance to crit and you can't generate charge in the first few turns. So Arts Last is not viable. Okay, so now we invulm. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Merlin's dead next turn. What does full gauge on the left do? It makes Kama super swole. And I don't mean our Kama. Okay, so this turn we sit still. Yeah, we attack with Kama anyway. Whatever, I'll have Merlin do the hit. And turn four is when we can start a counterattack. Okay, so now I need to figure something out. Do I beat the shit out of her with my normal cards, or do I go in with my charge? I think I go in with my charge here. Okay, we got a couple of... Yeah, you know what? No. Um, the effectiveness down is not a problem. Yeah, let's start with Kama's buff. We'll go Kama Scotty for this one. I believe this is a cleanse. It is not a cleanse. Okay. Oh, I think we sit on commas buffs. I understand now. The reason why I'm... It recommends sitting on this is actually to pop the buff block. Okay. So I'll sit on our first skill. First skill I'll, I'll wait on. And... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll sit on... Actually, let me pop her second skill. Because I'm going to be going in. Okay. And I'll sit on the, um, the comma skills. Yes. Let's do this way. Actually, hold on. No, that's not. That's not right. We'll do it this way. Okay. 
Damn, that's some damage. Yeah, all right, that's a break. If I do this right, I should be able to force her to sit on her ass until I can stun her. Or no, until her um, Invulm Pierce runs out. Or it'll whiff on the one that she currently has on. Depends on if it's a box buff or not. Oh, it procs before each NP? I see. Well, in that case... That's fine, we'll live without the buffs. She has a buff lock on herself currently. Let's see, what's the best move at this point? Get rid of the buff blocks and give everyone guts. That could work. Okay, you know what? Let's try and get Gate of Sky on this turn and hold off. Because we don't have any important buffs sticking down. All I need to do is make sure Kama doesn't, um, isn't blocked the next turn. Whoa, big hit. Okay. So this Scotty here has a buff block, but I can use Kama's buff to pop that. Um, so if she gains Invuln Pierce at the start of every NP, that means using Gate of Sky is not an effective answer here. Gate of Sky is for clones? Okay. So in that case, I believe the best move might actually just be to stun her. And then guts up. If you stun going for damage, okay. Well, that I can do. Ah, I see, that reduces her, her charge. Okay, so now I can give Kama the other two buffs, I think, and we just go in for big deeps. The only problem is I'm sitting at 48% charge, which is one short of an NP. So instead of charging, it may be more prudent here. If 
face card quicks. That's actually not a bad idea. And I'm not going to go in the comma Brave Chings. I don't want to eat that third uh, debuff. Okay, so let's do this. <laughs> let's try this. That should give us a little Senpai, room to play this around. this is highly illegal. If only, if only we had Invuln Pierce ignoring me, Invuln. Ah, last poor Castoria. Okay. We have another turn to play around with. I think we wait on this turn, and then we... I go in comma this turn, I cleanse off the buff block with her own buff. Then, uh, party-wide, uh, party-wide guts to get through this round. Or, I could go in right now, because she already has her own guts. And then go for the NP, uh, NP quick combo. We could also Gate of Sky this turn to reduce the odds of the other Scotty dying. And that'll remove the buff. Well, actually, that won't remove the buff block. Because it only... I, it works if you put it at the end of a chain. But I can't dump other buffs onto Kama right now. You know what? We're gonna NP. We're gonna NP this turn. We're gonna NP this turn. We have a buff block on us, so I could actually just sit on that. Yeah. So we'll attack, and I'll put one on. Yeah, I'll go QQ Gate of Sky to remove the buff block. Bon. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Okay, and this will spare us any buff blocks. While also keeping the other Scotty uh, safe. Okay, good. Less good. Okay, good. Now with this, we should be able to party guts. The only problem is our comma doesn't benefit from that because we have our guts already propped. But I think it's worth keeping the other Scotties alive. So let's do that. And I'm going to hold on to skill 3 because I want to use it on a turn where... Um, I want to use it on a turn where I can go straight into a comma NP. I think it's the best use of it because I'm already sitting on 80% charges for 80% crits. So let's just do that. Okay, yeah, she does pop it before she NPs. That's good to know. Hey, Mosh, thanks for the resub, dude. How you doing? Okay, one turn till our counterattack. Let's go ape shit here. Let's do it this way. Because I can cleanse off the, um... I can cleanse off the buff block with Kama's skill next turn. And this will let us NP. 
Okay, good. So she should still have her buff block. No, she doesn't have her buff block. She needs to have her debuff this shit. That's fine, though. We can make this work. Hey, you guys, if thanks for the resub, dude. Send me some luck, Don Chum. We're only for Kiara. Ah, oh, good luck, dude. Alright. Yeah, that's fine. Let's just, just put the buffs in. You know what? I'm actually going to sit on that third buff. Because we don't need it right now. What I actually need is to run Scotty's buff. Alright, let's go. I'm also going to do this so we can build up that other gate of sky because I need to keep an eye on the uh, the rightmost um, comma. Oh man, there's a lot of these now. <laughs> okay, that'll do. Okay, problem. That comma is back to full strength. So it, actually, there's a there's a one a one in three chance this negatively impacts me. Okay, we don't have buff block, which means I can do this. And I'll sit on that uh, the other two buffs because Kama still has her her guts. Scotty 1 has her guts. Scotty 2 does not. So we have a 1 in 3 chance of the wrong Scotty getting it. Well, we have a 1 in 3 chance of the wrong character getting it, rather. Kama, not a Scotty, as it turns out. Good. And we fully refunded. Alright, here we go. Which one is it? I think it's ours, because you got charmed. It is ours, okay, that's good. Excuse me, can you not seal my NP? I kind of need that. Okay, so she has buff block. Which I need to cleanse if I'm gonna get anywhere. Actually, no I don't! What am I talking about? Actually, no, I need to cleanse it so she can receive Gate of Sky. So let's do that. So we cleanse it with our first skill, we Gate of Sky, then we comma NP, then we comma Arts card. I think is our, our plan here. Okay, let's go. No, I can't afford to sink DPS into the clone, I think. I'd rather just uh, bypass it with Gate of Sky. Also, it's solid thanks to the 50 bits, dude. That's some nice damage. 
我は煩悩の化身にして第六天の王。I swear to God, that stupid halo gets bigger every time I see it. <laughs> okay, this works. Just don't kill me. Good. We can pop her guts, assuming I'm, I'm not buff blocked. I'm buff blocked, okay. Uh, well. I think I have to YOLO it then. Or we gate a sky. Oh, we can't gate a sky. Wait a minute, we can gate a sky. Hypothetically, we can gate a sky. The problem is with using the 50%, Kama's uh, guts, there's no way of popping Kama's guts unless we get rid of that buff block. So we'd have to layer Gate of Sky at the end of the chain to make this work. So uh, using Gate of Sky would clear Kama's Kama so she could Guts next turn. But she would have to survive this turn on her own power. Oh! Kama will heal 2k, or 2k if we use her two cards, but she'll also eat a ton of debuffs. You know what? Let's do it. Also, Wandering One, do me a solid and shut up, please. Jesus Christ. <laughs> hey, you know what I should do in this fucking challenge run? I should Command Seal. Absolute. Absolute unit. Alright, yeah, here's what we'll do. We will... Yeah, we'll, we'll NP... We'll NPAQ. Let's do that. I think that'll give us enough health to tank through. Or we could NP, we could NPQ, NPQ Gate of Sky. That's another way of doing it. Cause that'll make it so we can layer the, yeah, you know what? That seems like the safer bet. Cause that'll give us longevity, even if it sacks some of our damage. <laughs> Let's do it. Gate of Sky last will mean that we can cleanse off the debuff. Or the buff block, rather. There will. But here's the thing. Um, I'm gaining health back. So assuming I don't fuck this up too badly, I can Guts next turn and get away with it. So I'm taking a chance here. If Kama dies, I have to scum. Let's see if we can dodge the big deeps. Okay, Scotty took a hit. Ah, damn it! Right onto Kama. Fucking heat seeking missile. How would he- how, how does she even tell the report? They're all commas. They're clones, they look exactly the same. Well, I guess mine doesn't have a stupid halo, but still. Okay, new plan. Can I get away with doing an NP Gate of Sky Q? We can survive that way. NP Gate of Sky Q may be too risky though. Because we'd have to count on the uh, start of turn thing to cleanse off our buff block. Well, whatever, let's try it. Ah, you're right, she does have the the self buff.
Well, that's fine. As long as it's not one of the other commas that hits me. Or as long as, yeah, as long as it's not main comma that hits me, I'm okay. Skill seal. Oh, they don't attack. Yeah, you're right. Okay, so we have buff blocks still on. Because we ate a different buff, I think, in the interim. So we still can't guts. However, I can just keep attacking it, yes. Ooh, bigger problem, though. I need one of my Scotties to actually gain Gate of Sky. So in that case... We could AAQ. Oh, you want to do Scotty Brave? You know what? Let me give that a shot. Oh boy. Uh, we got a gamble. Alright, let's see you eat shit. If it's my comma, that's the best result here. Nope, it's a Scotty. Alright, so we've lost a Scotty. We'll have to limp along with Waver. All right, there go both Scotties. Well, that's a problem. What effect did she gain her NP off of? Let's see. It was a self-charge? Oh, that sucks. Alright, well, it's fine. We have alternatives. It does mean committing more resources than I cared for. But I, I think I'll just do it to make this work. Damn, losing both Scotties is pretty rough. Excuse me, I need that waiver. If you could do me a solid and not murder him. Alright, well fuck you too. That's the best I could do here. Let's just go in. Oh, 
Now, Radinox, I'm pretty sure what you asked was why I wasn't doing this in easy mode, which is a very different question. So, you know. Maybe, maybe... Maybe tone down the smugness a bit, yeah? Alright, let's go in. Two million health, easy peasy. Okay, we got buff block. Easy peasy, we got this. Stall for 90 turns? Easy. Yeah, okay, just gotta do that a few dozen more times. Easy. Okay. Oh man. Uh, Kama, you happen to have any instant death on basic attacks? You really use some of that right now. Alright, through the power of friendship, we got this. Check it out. 1.6 million. Easy. All right, we'll give it another go. So give me a quick second. So to make this work, I don't know how I should be using my early buffs. I think we should go super aggro. No, actually, what we should do is we should slow kill. We should slow kill without NPs on um, the first, yeah. Okay, we could actually hold off our NP for longer because at some point we lost our offensive buffs, which I think is what happened when um, we popped our first bar, right? Well, here's the thing. The thing you sent isn't super clear. Like, about separating strategies in the initial turns. Like, it, it, I, I get a bunch of bullet points, but there's a bunch of blanks to fill. So it's, a couple of things aren't necessarily the clearest. So I'm gonna see what I can do on my end to make it work. Okay, so we can... Merlin absorbing the first hits is fine. We can work with that. Also, let me take care of something real quick. Wasn't planning on doing this when I started the stream, but you know what?
Let's see. All right, let's do this. We'll have White Vessel's Command Seal on one of the quick cards. Is divine. Hmm. Hey, what's up, Crow? Thanks for the resub, dude. Okay, those don't help. You know what? Yeah, I can commit this for now. Actually, you know what? Do I gain the effect before or after? Well, whatever. I'll, I'll just put it in right now. Alright, we'll go with this. Um, to my understanding, according to this video, uh, command codes don't actually, will not help you with buff block in this fight. Actually, you know what I could do to make things easier on my end? No, no, never mind. I'd be getting those anyway. Alright, let's give it a shot. So what I'm under what I'm getting out of this it isn't spelled out in what that video says as far as I can tell but you're supposed to pop this 1.2 million health without using without using your NP at all and you just fucking power through her second and her second bar with NPs is what I'm getting out of this it looks like they're saying to crit the first bar. Because if you're not NPing the first bar, or if you're saving your NPs for the subsequent turns, then you're not... Yeah, then you're not doing the other thing. Okay, we'll pop the defense down, because we'll be using that anyway. Ah, I made a slight error. That's okay, though. I have an alternative. Instead of self-buffing Merlin, what I'll do is I'll actually pop Kama's buff on Merlin. Because Kama doesn't need it for herself right now. And that'll let Merlin survive a turn. Hmm? 
So he'll survive this turn and then he'll eat her NP next turn. I think he's charmed, which means I cannot. Oh, never mind, I can. So here's what I'm gonna do here. I'm actually gonna pop her second skill because if I'm getting guts, I want it from this. Um, I want the first guts to be from the attack skill on the um, on the Tokugawa Mystic Code, not from Kama's own buff, which is a lot smaller. So what I'll do is I'll use Kama's second skill to pop her, her uh, buff block, and then put on Hero Creation on her so she can crit this turn. Dan and Kamas comes back in six turns, so I think it'll be back by the time it's relevant. We're gonna Brave Chain, which sucks, but I want the damage. Man, the fucking face race in these first six turns or so is actually a lot bigger part of the fight than I thought. Oh, I think I understand something now. We can NP once during this, but it has to be purely on Kama's own power. Because we'll lose those buffs as soon as um, Phase 2 starts. And for this turn, what I'll do is I'll actually just go full Scotty Chain to build up charge. It actually may be worth sticking some star generation, like flat star generation things on Scotty. You buffed with a Scotty? Hmm. Ooh, that's a chain. Oh, for one through three? Oh, with the, with the on-field Scotty. Hmm. It's a brave chain, but I'm going to lose a lot of damage if I sink this. God, this is so annoying, because I don't know how I'm going to deal the other 900,000 uh, health in this turn without uh, committing buffs. But if I commit buffs, I lose those buffs as soon as she pops her bar. Unless I'm supposed to go on the defensive at the start of phase two and just sit on my ass. Hmm. Uh, individual combo buffs aren't that much, but if you accumulate several turns worth, it'll really fuck with your damage. I think I just need to NP this turn. I'll use Kama's own third skill to remove her buff block. Oh no, she doesn't have buff block. Alright, in that case, I'm going in. I don't think I have a choice. Yeah, I should have put on the lead on turns 1 through 3 with the Scotty buffs. I don't know if that would have helped. Oh, you think I should commit one Scotty buff and not the other? We could try that. Let's see what that does damage-wise. <laughs> That might be a little too wishy-washy, but we'll see what our output is like. I may have eaten too many um, debuffs at this point for it to do damage. Actually, that's not terrible. Okay, that was kind of terrible. 
Okay. I think we debuff her and just go in for more damage this turn. To buy the extra time. That might fuck with the order, but I don't see a great alternative here. You think I should commit to the guts? I'm gonna try and guts after um, we pop this bar. I think that might be the best solution here. I think I still need to NP um, NPBB this turn because I don't think Buster or Buster alone will pop it. Well, whatever. We could try. We could try with the Buster Buster to start. Hmm. Alright, we'll try it. I don't necessarily want to pop naked, because I don't have the resources to take her and boost straight. It's a little wasteful, but I think I'll pop Scotty's um, quick buff to get Kama off. ムダなこと。無限の宇宙と無限の愛に、もはや区別などなく。人は呼吸を失うがことがり。はあ。歴愛とはよく言ったもの。愛に溺れ、どこまでも落ちる快楽に窒息せよ。人間、煩悩無量
where I could have NP'd. Well, here's what I can do. I can build charge on the other Scotty. I can build charge on the other Scotty for the time being and take this as an off turn until my Scotty buffs come back. Because I don't think sinking Brave Chains into her in this state is productive. So my best bet is just to get to 100% charge and sit on it. So we'll go one attack. We'll go to Kama's one quick card. That's probably the most productive thing I can do here. Because, yeah, definitely throwing um, basic cards willy-nilly will just cut my damage output for when I actually do need to hit her. So I guess I think I understand what that video was getting at. It's better to have like a cool a cooldown turn. Ow. It's better to have a cooldown turn. So that you don't get fucked. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pop uh, the rightmost Scotty's Gate of Sky and then go into a Brave Chain with her. Just so I can, um, just so I can hold off. Because my comma currently has two turns. Well, it's two turns of a weak buff. Yeah, it's one turn of one buff and one turn of another. Next, yes, yes. So what I can do is I can wait a turn and then uh, drop damage. Because next turn I could pop her own guts because hers is down. I could pop her guts. I could go in with an NP. Um, actually, no. Should I wait the other the extra two turns? Maybe I should. The problem is the two Scotty quick buffs are desynced. But I think it might be worth doing it anyway. If I wait one turn... Yeah, so next turn I should NP. Because then I start getting the... I start getting buffs back. So let's do it that way. But in the meantime, I'm gonna use Gate of Sky. I'm gonna use Gate of Sky just to uh, get a clean slate for the other characters. I'm not too worried about the Scotties because we have the guts on them and that buys us a bit of time. So as long as I can start the next turn with a clean slate for Kama, we, we should be okay. That won't be a clean slate. We'll have one set of debuffs. But that's alright. I'm willing to deal with that. Okay. Now we've lost two of our full health guts. Okay, so what I do this turn is I pop Kama's own guts. We pop Kama's guts, we go in on Kama. But we don't use our Buster card, because that would just accumulate more debuffs. I think that's the best thing I can do here. What's up, Juan? How you doing? Let's see, I also need to avoid getting debuffs stacked on top of Scotty 2, or Scotty 1. Let's do it this way. Scotty, Scotty 2 can afford to eat an NP. So as long as I keep Scotty 1 and Kama herself ready to receive gay of Scotty, we should be alright. To deal with the secondary Kama. Oh, but Kama Prime is ready to NP. Alright, let's see what our debuff status is. Okay, we're good on that front. This Scotty is all kinds of fucked up. But that's fine, because she has guts. This one also is ready. So what I could do here is we could sink. We can sink... Yeah, we can pop both of the Scotty charges onto Kama. And this. 
And then what we do is we... Actually, yeah, you know what I could do with Gate of Sky? With Gate of Sky, I can actually just comma NP, comma quick card, and then Gate of Sky. And that'll deal with the second comma. Yeah, first comma hits someone, there's not really much I could do about that. But I think this will give me the best odds of survival. Alright, let's give it a shot. Because I don't want Kama to start the turn with, um, with a buff block. Because Kama herself cannot benefit from Gate of Sky. Because she already has an evade. She has one from the previous Scotty, because she didn't get hit. So I'm not worried about that. Okay, good. So the, the Gimp comma got blanked on her MP. Now we gotta see which of our Scotties eats it. Okay, good. Same Scotty ate it. And she recovered at full health. Good, 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 good. Wait, was it the same Scotty or a different Scotty? It was the same one. Okay, good. Good, 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 good. Okay, now we have some interesting options. Unfortunately, I am 10% off. Of a full charge. But what I can do in this situation... First of all, what I could do is I can Gate of Sky to deal with the other comma. To deal with that comma. Then I can charge up... I could charge up into my comma's NP. But I'd have to commit this buff. Which I'm a little apprehensive about, but I think it's better than the alternative of sitting. Of sitting on my buffs. It means I'll have to commit both buffs to get... One of those buffs is only going to give me 10%, but I think I need to. You think Gate of Sky into Buster Quick Crit might clear the bar? We could try it and see what happens. Let's see, let's see if it uh, amounts to anything. If it does, that'll actually let us um, keep resources, which works for me. So you know what? I think it's worth a shot. I see Kaneko's here. How you doing? Ah, not enough. Okay, yeah. I think um, I may have accumulated... Actually, I don't know if I've accumulated too many debuffs, because I've been trying to keep them off of Kama. But yeah, here's what I'll do. I will NP... Yeah, I'll NP. I'll just charge into the NP. So it'll be Gate of Sky NP quick. And hopefully that'll give us some momentum um, for the second go-around. We need the double Scotty crit buffs, yeah, probably. Them being desynced is kind of a problem. So I guess, yeah, we sh what I should do is, next time, I should commit the Scotty buffs early, and I should keep the quick buffs on the same timer. Because, because of the way our windows of damage go, we need both buffs to be up at the same time. Because if they're separate, then we aren't gaining enough damage. Uh, didn't I give you your catalyst? Fat man? Oh, no, I didn't. Alright, here. Let me take care of that. Here you go. <laughs> Congratulations, Fat Man. Yeah, let me also refund Denny his um, tax the plebs. Alright. So for this, I'm committing both. Wait a second. Wait a fucking second. We just gained another crit buff. That might be enough. Let's find out, because I really want to save this if possible. 
特別だ、はいはい、神戸を垂れて完璧に無せべ Whatever, we'll give it a shot. I'm sure 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 So we gotta go NP, which means I have to commit the my final Mystic Goat skill, which sucks. But I don't think I'm gonna last if I have to take another two turns to get through that bar. Because time is getting pretty tight. And after this, I'll just sit on、um, both Scotty buffs until we can clear out some space. Ideally, we can build up some more charge so I don't have to. So I can sit on both Scotty buffs for the second round. I'm、oh, sorry, for the third round. Oh, that's a lot of charge. Okay, good. Self charge, not great, but I can do it. You know what? I think I'd go for it. Yeah, so I think this is the best option we have here. This will give us the best odds of、um, making it into the next round of DPS. What, without compromising this last bit of the window. Now I just need to weather a couple of comma NPs. We'll see. We'll see if I can make it work. Okay, 48%. That's fine.、We、got some defenses going on. Okay, so top priority right now is to get Scotty, at least one of my Scotties, up to the point where she can NP. Although with this hand, I think I'm gonna throw in a comma card as well. Now you should MLP the damage to you. There's not a great reason to run multiple attackers. So as soon as you can, I would do so. Okay, good. Kama has her guts, I'm not worried about that. But we need to get Gate of Sky going right now. <laughs> I think the one arts card is enough. <laughs> oh, I may need a reset. We'll see. We'll see if I can make it hit. Alright, let's see who eats it. If Kama eats it, I can keep it going. If Kama doesn't eat it, that's a scum. Kama ate it, okay. I can work with this. 
Okay. Does Kama have her buff block? She does. I need to clear it off. I have nothing to clear it off with. Hmm. I'm gonna go naked this turn and build up Gate of Sky. Oh, but I don't have the other Scotty. Alright, whatever. I'll take my chances. We'll see. We'll see if Kama can take this turn. If she can, I have to uh, figure something out. So we need Scotty 1 to take a hit. And we need Kama to survive. Okay, that's one hit. Nope. Okay. Yeah, that... Scotty not gaining the full 9% off of that arts card was pretty rough. Because that greatly limits our options here. Yeah, that was not a great place to get that card. Okay, so I'm gonna pop Scotty skill 2. Because Kama skill 2 will get eaten by the buff block. So I need to avoid using that unless it's my only option left. That's at best the last ditch effort. Okay. You know what? I think I'll just take it. I'll take it. Nope, I can't take that. Alright. Well, that's a problem. Okay, so the last tool I have to work with here is Kama's uh, second skill. If Scotty died, I could have just brought in Waver and stalled with him. The... But Kama is my only attacker. You pretty much need just one attacker. Or you can only really use one attacker, I think, for full gauge. Because you need the maximum broken CE so badly. So there's not much we can do on that front. But Kama needs to survive. The problem is the NP doesn't do enough damage. And the NP doesn't won't actually stop um, Kama from dealing damage. If you mean using the NP um, to remove the buff block, I can't get the guts off of that. So what I need to do is I need to pop the guts anyway. In hopes that that changes um, the damage. Ah, uh, is that really my best option? There has to be a better way. You know what? Maybe comma NP changes it? Well, let's try it. Because we still have her buff still. Let's do this. Because I don't actually want a comma to accumulate any debuffs here. If I can get out of this turn with Kama alive and not buff blocked, I can make something happen. Ah, god damn it. I may need a second taunter. But the problem is, I can't guarantee the order that my taunter comes in is the issue. Because I'm not using Plug Suit, so I would need to either not have Scotty be the second uh, character to come in. Oh, I'm sorry. I would either not need Scotty to be my backliner, or... I would need... Um... 
taunters are the first two subs, and you just run uh, the first Scotty as is. Hmm. Maybe, maybe. Well, we could try that if this, uh, if this doesn't work. Yeah, that's a real shame. I guess I was a little too greedy on that buff block. I should have waited and timed it. Whatever, let's see if this changes anything. The problem with running Tondras that can carry Obsession... Ah, right, I give up. There's no saving this. We'll have to try again. Yeah, okay, we could try with a second, with a Tondra, um, second and third. Prisma Cosmos on the Scotties? Actually, that could work. The only issue is that we I'd have a harder time keeping stars on Kama. Which, I don't know how worth that is. Uh, we got into our final... Did we get to our final bar once? Yeah, we did. We did. Alright, so here's what we could do. By the time MASH gets in, I should be able to get away with just having 2030s. I could run 500 Year Obsession. I don't know if that's worth though. We could try. You know what? I'll give it. I'll give it a go. Why is Yugi Leon? Because I want the charge. What else am I going to use? I can't run a second attacker. They won't deal enough damage by themselves. A VK run. That's an interesting idea. Let me write it that. Yeah, let me write that one down. You know, if we need to experiment some more, I'll keep that in mind. But for now, I think Waver last to just fully charge or to charge Kama and finish the fight is my best option. Uh, it's up there. Full power Kama is fucking up there. So, I'm going to have to ask you to do me a solid and not spoil future content when we're doing a fucking NA stream, dude. There was any number of ways you could have phrased that that didn't involve naming the fight. <laughs> that is impressive. Also, thank you for the Risa Peaceful Guardian. Happy Palm Sunday messages for the inevitable victory of our- Oh, we'll see about that. I was thanks for sticking around, these Mr. Peaceful Guardian. Alright, so this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop 
All the Merlin buffs immediately. Actually, wait a second. You know what I could do right now? If I'm gonna be waiting anyway for skill cooldowns, I may as well do this. I'll keep the other two skills available, just because I don't want to... I'd rather have them available than not. Be also because I don't want skill 2... I don't want Kama's Guts to interfere with the good Guts when I finally drop it. Which, I can't control when Kama's Guts gets popped, so I'm just gonna not do that. Bon <laughs> Actually, look at that. Nice damage. Ooh. Oh, fuck, I have to. I'm gonna be so gimped. Listen, Peaceful, I figured I'd spare you. I I'd spare you once I got to the part where the typo started coming up. And I was like, well, my options right now are to stumble through these. Or summarize it. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Yeah, we'll do this. Hi, hi. So <laughs> Oh, we're so close to popping it. Okay, now we have some work to do. We're short damage-wise. Well, Merlin dying was uh, a part of the plan. So now what we do is I think we just chip her down and try to get the remaining 200k done um, before turn seven, I think is our target. The question is, do I pop Mash's defense buff? I don't think we do. We, we need that to get past the buff block. So what we can do is we could do this instead. <laughs> to try to build up a Gate of Sky. <laughs> It's fine. I can work with that. Okay. So we have a couple of choices now. I can go all in and try to pop that with this Brave Chain, or I can go Mash Arts first and then QQ, because I don't want Kama to get the fourth. Uh, get the fourth debuff from the Brave Chain. 
I need to pop it. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. Let's see what we could do like this. Let's see what we could do like this, and I'll see if I need to commit one of the, the suit buffs. Oh, it's not, it's not even close. Alright. Yeah, I need to commit a buff. I need to commit a suit buff to make this work. What I can't... Well, the problem is I don't want to commit the attack buff. The problem with the attack buff is that um, MASH will get the guts. And MASH getting the guts is not actually what I want here. I want the next Scott... I want the Scotty after MASH to get the guts. I could use the, um, I could use the stun, but the stun is also pretty valuable. Hey, what's up, maybe bot? Uh, let's see. The star? We could use the stars, but that's a 50% charge. And I don't know, I mean, the, the using the, the star one will give us the crits we need to power through. If you couldn't break it, I wouldn't waste. Hmm. Okay. In that case, we'll go with the Brave Chain this turn, and then we'll chip her out for the remaining health. Because we have a little bit of time to work with. And if it if we fucked it, then whatever. I'll I'll do another run. Our and RNG was de solid here, but I think it's not it's not a dream run that we're throwing away. Okay, now what I could do here is I could have Mash eat. I could have Mash eat the NP. Which will save me some trouble. I could have Mash eat the NP, and what I can do here is I can actually invuln um, Scotty. I can invuln Scotty because that'll give her a charge and unshackle her from um, me needing to pop something on her because Kama, I don't think Kama's gonna get enough from one card or from being hit that I can justify putting it on her. So I think that's the play here. And then we could bust your chain into Kama to try to pop her. So let's try it. Mash getting taunt is not, or mash getting invuln is not an option, so let's put it on Scotty. So yeah, we're gonna go Buster Chain into here, because if we get the comma crit, we can actually pop her this turn. Hi. Nah, we'll do it this way. Alright, let's see. Alright, see you, Star Soul. Have a good one, dude. Come on, baby! Ah, oh, so close! That was almost enough damage. Alright. Well, that's fine. We'll just go through. We'll just beat the shit out of her this turn, which is a real shame, because I had some really good cards here. Ah, uh, I need to wait, because I need these buffs to expire. So we're just gonna go ape shit with Scotty, I think, to try to get enough damage. <laughs> Does she cleanse herself at the start of phase two with D or for debuffs? I don't think she does. So in this, in that case, I could pop the defense downs right now, and then keep them going.
<laughs> Alright, let's try it. Okay, that's a gate of sky. Alright, and she has the um, 500 year obsession debuff on her. So you should avoid any unpleasant surprises. I mean, aside from being crit to death, can't really do much about that surprise. We also need to set up the guts now. But I want to get it on my Scotties. The problem is to get that bar break. Um, both Scotties ate a buff block. Okay. Oh, we can tap the screen? Can we do that on the first run? I thought that was only in the, um... In the second run through. Okay, so here's what I could do here. I can use Kama's buff on Scotty number two. We get the attack buff this turn. And what we'll do is we'll Gate of Sky, Kama NP... Um, yeah, well, Gate of Sky, comma, and... Actually, no, no. Gate of Sky should come next turn, shouldn't it? In that case, what I should do... Is I should sit on Kama's buffs. And we'll do it next turn to, to um, null the second comma. And so what I'll do is I'll use a Scotty buff on comma this turn. And we'll just do NPQQ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the problem is with the buff block. Actually, wait a second. Do the buff blocks stack? They don't, right? In that case, she already has buff block. What I could do is I could go NP BQ. And that'll make it so that this Scotty is freed up without uh, compromising the other one. And that'll make it so I can Gate of Sky at the start of next turn. Once I put Kama's buff on herself. I think that's the prudent move here, because that'll let me also pop this attack buff next turn. And that'll give me the guts I need to tank through uh, big Kama's NPs. So let's go for it. So we'll make it so that the support Scotty is the one that um, attacks this turn. Because I don't actually want Kama to attack with her basic cards while I'm doing this. Because that'll just reduce her overall damage output. <laughs> oh no, Kaneko. The problem is I really want to fuck. I guess in Oku that really is a problem. For the average FGO account, I wouldn't go further than 0% on an average one, because that's what I did on JP the first run of this, and it was still hard. Okay, good. So here, good. No buff block. No buff block. And no buff block. So what I'm going to do is Gate of Sky is first this turn. So we'll do Gate of Sky. That's going to happen no matter what. Yeah, so we'll go Gate of Sky into Kama NP. And to get Kama NP, I'll commit both of her own buffs. And I'll use this attack buff so we can get the guts on right now and um, avoid any nightmare scenarios. I think that's the play. And also, that'll let me free up my Kama's Gut skill just to remove, uh, just to get rid of Buff Block. So I think that's the best thing I could do here. What's up? 
No, I don't want a comma guts. Comma, I'm gonna use uh, good guts and then comma guts because the other two Scotties are at risk. Because remember in the first run we did, we ended up in a situation where um, our comma did not get the good guts because she survived too long while the other Scotties ate comma NPs. Doing it this way, I think gives us more flexibility. Excellent. Actually, wait a minute. We have an evade. We don't need to gate of sky. Oh, in that case, I could just, um, I can just sit on that gate of sky and use it to remove, uh, buffs. Actually, wait a minute. No, no, no. I could just use that gate of sky at the end of this turn. So I can unbuff block Kama without needing to commit her own buffs. And because my other Scotty is also ready. So I could do it this way. And this will make mean Kama can receive buffs next turn. Are there any buffs even to receive? Not really. So I guess that doesn't matter. The only thing you would really be doing is setting me up so I can... I mean, maybe I could go for the third Guts, but I don't think that's necessary either. So whatever. We'll... In either case, the Gate of Sky is not necessary for what I'm doing. I mean, the... The zero bar version is a lot less punishing. A lot less punishing. Alright, we got the bar pop. Hell yeah. So I'm trying to figure out when this guy recommends using uh, skill 3. Alright, who eats it? Kama eats it. Alright, that's fine. Good. I don't see any list of MC skill 3 on here. Alright, I say we go for it. Unless... Actually, now might be a really good time for the uh, defense... or for the defense reduction. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we built... we got full NP back. No buff block either. Okay, let's go for it. Because I think we want to power through this bar as quickly as possible. Yeah, let's go for it. Alright. Let's see! Crit? Crit! Okay. Oh, that's also really good. Hold on, let's see if I need to do this. Okay, so what I can do... I can pop comma skill 2. Skill 2, I think, is the one I should use here. No, no, no. Let's do skill 1. Well, So I pop comma, comma skill 1 on herself. That removes the buff block. Then I use uh, mystic code skill 3. That'll bite through her final, the rest of her bar. 
The problem is I waste the crit stars, but I think at this point I need the NP to actually get through. So let's go for it. We'll try it, we'll try it. Well, actually, we do have a Scotty buff. We have at least one. No, we have both, we have both. We're good. We're missing Scotty's defense downs. But I, th I think we can get uh, make do without them. Also, thank you for the 100 bits, Momiji. Thank you very much. All right, let's see if we can make this work. Holy shit, this fight is tight. Oh, my damage is not great. But whatever, I committed the skill. I don't have a choice at this point. I think I may have accumulated too many um, card type downs. That's all right. As long as we don't lose any of our guts. Ah, you think those were combo buffs? Yeah. Well, that's fine. Uh, we can... Yeah, we have to eat one of these. We don't have a choice. <laughs> it also doesn't matter what order we do this in. So let me just leave Kama to recover. Because we're going to need her... <laughs> draw some card type debuffs. Alright, let's see who eats it. Okay, one of the Scotties took it. That's fine, they both have guts. Okay. Now, the question is, how many... Oh, that's a fuck ton. I think we gotta wait at least one more turn before we start sinking comma cards in. So best bet here. Yeah, both of the Scotties have buff blocks on them, so I can attack freely with those. So in that case, let me do this. <laughs> I would prefer it if neither of the Scotties lost their, um, or if Scotty and Kama did not lose their buffs. Okay, good, 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 good. Excellent. Alright, Kama's back in action, which means I think we go for the NP this turn. Yeah, we could get Gate of Sky freely. Or no, we can prep Kama for Gate of Sky freely. So I think I will not actually use the other Gate of Sky this turn. We'll go Kama we'll go Kama Brave Chain. Kama Brave Chain I think is the best. Kama Brave Chain might actually be unnecessary. That's the problem. Let me think about this. NP Arts Arts. The thing is, I don't want... I want both of the Scotties to be able to Gate of Sky next turn. Because that'll mitigate both of the... Um, the Kamamaras. So what I should do is we should go NP NP um Yeah, it means Kama accumulates more debuffs, but I can go NP um AQ. I think NP AQ will make it so that both Scotties can receive their um Gate of Sky, which is I think the best thing. Oh, Scotty's of 8 doesn't stack? Ah, shit, you're right. Also, what's up, Danger Creamy? Thanks for the raid, dude. Welcome, everyone. We're just, uh... 
racking our brains with a full gauge comma. How's your stream? Alright, let me think. Yeah, you're right, we can't stack evades. Ah, oh, almost done floor five, nice. Yeah, okay, we can't overcharge that. Sorry, I forgot, it's not like, uh... We can't fuck with it like Castoria. Hmm... Oh, I understand, I misread that. Using two Gates of Sky is actually to make it so that... Um... You get one instance of Gate of Sky on everyone. That's what that's for, okay. So in that case, here's what I could do. Yeah, we need the other Scotty to do our thing. Okay, so we'll do NP... Um, so we could do, uh, like, my Scotty Arts, comma NP, comma Q. How about that? What's up, Drip Tech? How you doing? Hmm. It's either that. We could do NP Arts Arts, but I'm a little worried about how much NP I'm getting out of doing that. Alright, let's go for it. Yeah, so we'll go A... NPQ. Also, we don't need Kama's Guts. The problem with going all in is that I don't think my damage goes up by an appreciable amount relative to how much I lose from the, uh, the stacking debuffs. Okay! Good, we're on final bar now. Ooh, that's awkward. That's awkward, but not um, ruinous. Okay, so we have the buff block on her. Um, so... Yeah, so this Scotty actually has her um, guts still. Battery then guts. Yeah, that works. We use battery then guts. This Scotty is vulnerable because she won't get her. Um, she won't get Gate of Sky, but I think that's all right. Because we can. What we could do is we can Gate of Sky. Yeah, we can Gate of Sky, comma NP, comma Buster. Or we can Gate of Sky, comma, NP, Scotty Arts. Because I don't know if the comma Buster is worth here. No, actually, comma Buster is worth. Comma Buster is worth. Alright, see you Danger Creamy. Thanks for the raid, dude. And thanks for dropping by. Or thanks for stopping by, rather. Okay. Yeah, let's go for it. So we go Gate of Sky, comma, NP, comma, Buster. Yes. Because we won't need the second Gate of Sky in a row. Who'd have thunk running a Scotty team against this fight would be so... exacting. So ideally, the commas whip their NPs. Or the side commas whip their NPs onto my evades. But that might be a little too optimistic. Ah, I've been doing good melt. Yeah, she got a decent shot. Okay, good. One evade. One onto an evade. That's good, that's good. 
If I can get the other onto the other evade, that would be ideal. But if it hits Kama again, I could deal with that. If it hits Scotty, that's... A, well, depending on... Okay, it hit the wrong Scotty. That's fine, though. That Scotty had guts. It means she can't take an NP from Scotty Prime, but I guess none of the... are not Scotty Prime. Kama Prime. But I guess none of them can at this point. Okay. Ooh, that's quite a hand. Uh, buff block. Is it worth unbuff blocking Kama? Just no, no, it isn't. It isn't. So let's do this. You think it is? Just so she can get her own quick buff. All right. Well, we'll try it. So we'll go NPQQ, and we'll see what we can do. We'll do it this way. Because the heal doesn't matter, but if I manage to remove a debuff, that might make that last quick card hit a little harder. Okay, big dick. Oh shit! Oh shit! Hey! We did it! Holy fuck! Okay, so the key was controlling how many of those debuffs we accumulate. Alright, well that's good. When we start to do um, reduced turn... Yeah, reduced turn runs. That might Beware, be relevant. Run, run, run. Oh, fuck me. We did it. Thank you for the 100 bits. All right, sorry. Not 100. 500 bits, gross. Sorry, I should have oh, recognized it. Oh, my balls are no longer blue. Oh! I should have recognized it when hungry um, Lancer Scotty decided to pay me a visit. We were here. Hell yeah, crow. Thank you for the 500 bits, and thank you for the 200. Super taxi man. Congrats on the victory on the big boss. Thank you very much, good sir. Gotham says Eclipse Lunas. Thank you very much, Lunas. For the 50 bits. And 100 from It's Solid. Thank you very much, It's Solid. Oh, shit. Well, we did it. We fucking did it. Whoo! You know what, chat? I feel like we should celebrate our victory over Kama by doing something decadent. I'll be right back, then we can end the night with a bang.
All right, I'm back. Gentlemen, I can't fucking believe we did it at long last. Also, uh, Big Beppis, uh, I'm going to refund you the points because I'll let you in on a little secret. Whenever I step out of the room, I, I tax the plebs automatically. <laughs> so here, you get your points back. You get that one for free. That's what I did before it was called Tax the Plebs. Anyway, let's go everyone! 110 roll into story. The most decadent thing we could do. Besides fish for USOs. That's fine, we'll go with CVS. CVS is a good catalyst. Big rolls, come on! Thank you for the 100 bits, Wamiji. Here's open. Serve it! Oh, you're back, Danny. What's up? Yeah, I refunded you yours as well. Alright, another tofu. Possible USOs? I don't know! I think my Karn is MP5, so I'm kind of hoping to not see him. Mcopter has gifted a tier 1 sub. Thank you very much, Mcopter. Very kind of you, good sir. Ah, you have to get food? Gotcha, gotcha. Ryder! Oh, see, oh yeah, I also don't want to see Achilles. Achilles, Waver, Karna, um, Nightingale. I think those are the big ones. Alright, another servant. We got Ryder in the house. Ah, it's Ushiwakamaru. They're not too bad, but I kind of don't want to see them anyway. I'd rather get a new servant. Or like, I'd rather upgrade an existing servant than get a USO. Dignity? Is that the final one? Oh, suck my dick. That's terrible. You know what? No, fuck you, game. I'm gonna do something. You know what? Clearly, I didn't go far enough. Let's do the one thing more decadent than rolling in story. Let's roll in a banner for a character we already have NP5 of. I, clearly, I didn't go far enough with my decadence. This, this is my hatred. <laughs> Let's go. This is, this is actual darkness envelops me. Oh no! <laughs> Saber. Minecraft doesn't sure sure. Thank you for the 100 bits, Jerry from accounting. What the fuck? Exactly. What the fuck? This. This is sinister. Oh shit. Oh, it's so good. That's so worth. Oh, it's servant. No, not a servant. I was wrong. Ah, it's just Karen. This one's a servant. Let's see. Remember Go! Oh no! 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 I licked your feet at snake way speed, oh, no. so it seemed like you nutted from going into a girl's room. Oh no! Thank you for. Well, first of all. What the fuck? Second of all, thank you for the 10,000 bits, Mcopter! 
Holy shit! Congrats on the five star. I think you mean congrats on the two five stars. <laughs> oh my man. Oh shit. Oh, you gotta be shitting me, assassin. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> A little too optimistic. Oh fuck me. Oh shit. Thank you for the 50 bits, Mystic Knight. You took someone's comma, damn it, all to mine now. And thank you, it's solid for the 50 bits as well. Oh my god. <laughs> oh shit. Oh fuck. This is. There is no justice in this world. Look at this shit. Also, thank you for the 1,000 bits, Momichi and Bashiri. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Hell yeah. You want to see evidence of my crimes, chat? Yeah, there you go. I'm just going to keep that in there until I need it. Just as a reminder of what I've done today. <laughs> oh, shit. I try to do the right thing and waste my quartz in a story. I get punished with the fucking Dan Blackmore. I waste it into the comma banner and I'm rewarded for my crimes. Oh shit, now we have a spare comma. Oh fuck. Oh, also, NP3 Mordred. Hell yeah. Esports comma. <laughs> oh, now I can't have an NK. You're right. You're right. I can actually have a one two one comma. You know what? That would require me to actually ascend her. So I'm gonna hold off on that. But you know what? Hold on to that thought. That's a good idea. Did you also NP six chemist? Hell yeah. War crime brothers. <laughs> Oh my god. This is evil. This is beyond evil. Oops, hold on a second. Uh, let's see. Oh, looks like Toto's playing FGO. You know what? Let's pay him a visit. Alright, everyone. Hope you had a fun time. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, keep an eye out for announcements because I may be doing Surtur roles in Arc Knight sometime during the week. We'll see about that. Uh, I'll have to figure out my schedule, because it's going to be weird this week. Anyway, hope you had a fun time. I certainly did, despite the the this stream going massively over length. I said this wasn't going to be a double length stream, and it effectively was. <laughs> so, you know, fuck me, I guess. All right, everyone. Have a good week. Hope your, uh, yeah, hope your comma runs and your comma rolls go well. Peace out. Thanks for coming. <laughs>